Dragon Ball. Creation and Destruction. Chapter 1. Planet Vegeta. As the morning sun rises, the earth is full of vitality. Chi Tian looked up at the red sky, there was no sadness or joy on his face, and his expression was calm. However, as a traverser Chi Tian knows clearly that in a short time, this planet will turn into the dust of the universe. Snapped. Suddenly, a group of light blue energy flames condensed in Chi Tian's hands. The light blue energy flame looks about 30 centimeters in diameter. Immediately afterwards, these light blue energy flames are being squeezed and deformed, shrinking inward continuously. In the blink of an eye, the light blue energy flame was crushed to a diameter of only about 10 centimeters. However, Chi Tian didn't mean to let go, he was still controlling these energies, constantly ravaging them, compressing them and deforming them. It didn't take long for this light blue energy to become less than one centimeter in diameter. It was originally an energy flame, but now, there is only one azure point of light left. Chi Tian gently waved to the light spot. This azure blue spot of light directly submerged into his body and was absorbed by him. Chi Tian took a deep breath and was in a good mood. Yes, Chi Tian has passed through, and he has not become an angel, gods of destruction, or supreme Kai. Chi Tian became a very ordinary Saiyan. No, saying that it is an ordinary Saiyan is not very accurate. It should be said that he is a genius soldier of Saiyan. When Chi Tian was born, his combat effectiveness reached a height of 2000. Now, Chi Tian is 16 years old. However, Chi Tian's combat effectiveness has always been a mystery to many Saiyans. Because Chi Tian's combat effectiveness is too weird. Chi Tian had 2000 combat power at birth. At the age of 3, his combat power was 8000. He started practicing at the age of 5, and his combat power reached 15,000, which made King Vegeta tremble a bit. When he was 7 years old, his fighting power began to exist in a mysterious way. I don't know why, but it dropped to 10,000. At the age of 10, his combat power dropped to 5,000. At the age of 13 years, the combat power became 2,000. Today, Chi Tian's combat effectiveness has become 500 again. This makes many Saiyan feel. This kid is considered useless. Originally a genius soldier. As a result, the more you practice, the more wasteful you are. You might as well not practice. The reason for all this is because Chi Tian discovered a very strange phenomenon in the Dragon Ball world. The combat effectiveness can be compressed. Since Chi Tian discovered this secret when he was 7 years old, he began his journey of compressing combat power. Chi Tian continued to practice, constantly compressing combat effectiveness. Just today, Chi Tian's combat effectiveness has become 500. It's just that Chi Tian still doesn't mean to be satisfied. After instilling intently and taking a deep breath, he again begins to crazily compress his own combat power. About an hour or so passed. Chi Tian found through the detector that his combat power finally dropped from 500 to 100. That's it. The combat effectiveness is getting lower and lower. That doesn't exist. Chi Tian found that the more the combat power is compressed, the more refined the combat power, and the faster it improves. Although Chi Tian's combat effectiveness seems to be only 100. However, if you look closely at Chi Tian's combat effectiveness, on some specific detectors, there will be a very small number 5 in the upper right corner. This number is very unobtrusive, and it will not be easy to find unless you look closely. In other words, Chi Tian's real combat power now is 100 to the 5th power. The combat power is 10 billion. Of course, this is far from enough for Chi Tian. Not to mention those gods of destruction and angel, even the later Sun Goku and Vegeta, their 10 billion combat power is useless. I want to continue to compress combat power. One day, I will compress my combat power to 100 to the 100th power. How much is this? Ahem. This number is too big. I still don't waste these brain cells. Hey, Chi Tian, early in the morning, are you practicing so hard? At this time, a child with pointed hair appeared behind Chi Tian and looked towards Chi Tian with a smile. Oh, His Royal Highness the Little Prince. Chi Tian turned his head and smiled slightly. Ha, huh, it's said that your combat power at birth has reached a height of 2000, far surpassing my prince. Vegeta, like a little adult, shook his head and sighed, unfortunately, you the more you practice, the lower the combat effectiveness. 
I originally wanted to find a suitable opponent. Chi Tian felt a little bit about Vegeta's combat power. The little guy is not bad. Although he is only 5 years old, his combat effectiveness has reached 15,000. But Chi Tian knows very well that this is the pinnacle of Vegeta. In the next 20 years, Vegeta's combat effectiveness reached 18,000. Since Chi Tian can control and compress his own combat power, he can naturally also sense the strength of the opponent's breath. Let me take a look, once a genius soldier Chi Tian, what is your combat power now? Vegeta said, pressing the button on the detector. When Vegeta looked at it, he was stunned. What? 100 combat power? Vegeta wiped his sweat. Do not make jokes. Is your combat power only 100? You are already the inferior warrior among the inferior warriors. Vegeta didn't want to talk anymore, and turned away. Me and an inferior soldier talk nonsense about wool. Vegeta, Chi Tian smiled slightly, looking at Vegeta. HMPH, I don't bother talking to the inferior soldiers. You really shame a Saiyan. Vegeta said angrily. Vegeta, you have to remember that combat effectiveness is only appearance. You should look at the essence through the phenomenon to have a higher improvement. Chi Tian smiled. I don't understand what you are talking about. Vegeta snorted. You are still young, and it is normal if you don't understand. Chi Tian said, walking step by step in the direction of Vegeta, and put his big hand on his shoulder. Remove your hand to me. You are rude to this prince. Be careful that this prince kills you in a rage. Vegeta hummed. If I say I can slap you and stun you, do you believe it? Chi Tian said with a smile. Cut, I'm standing here for you to fight, you can't break the defense. Vegeta pointed to his nose confidently. Boom, Chi Tian was not polite, and slapped Vegeta's back with a slap. Puff, Vegeta's smile gradually solidified. At that time, his pupils shrank sharply, feeling that the whole person was not good, and his brain was completely blank. Vegeta lost consciousness and fell softly to the ground. Chi Tian glanced at Vegeta, who had fainted to the ground, and ignored it. It's time to leave this planet. What? Kill Frieza. There is no need for that. At least Frieza hasn't bothered me yet. The main reason is that Chi Tian's work is relatively low-key. Who makes Chi Tian's combat effectiveness continue to decrease? As a result, the title of Chi Tian, a genius warrior, has not yet been completely disseminated on planet Vegeta. Because of the abolition of his practice, the title of genius warrior disappeared. Of course, history is not deceiving. There are still a few people who know Chi Tian, the former genius. Nowadays, more and more Saiyan have been called back to planet Vegeta. Chi Tian counted the time, and it seemed that after Goku's father Burdock came back, Frieza would come to destroy planet Vegeta in a month or so. As Saiyan, Chi Tian's combat power is as high as 10 billion, but there is no way to survive in the universe. This is Saiyan's shortcoming. Chi Tian decided to find a way to overcome this shortcoming. Too sad. If they can't beat you and destroy the planet directly, you will have to follow suit. What a shameless style of play. No matter what, Chi Tian must have a special ability that can survive in the universe. Otherwise, don't want to hang on in this Dragon Ball world. Chi Tian decided to go to Cyril Star. There is a Namek named Monet, and his Dragon Ball is definitely not simple. Moreover, it is very easy to collect Monet's Dragon Ball, and it only takes two to summon Shenron. Chi Tian, who has read the Dragon Ball Super comic, feels that this Monet must be extraordinary. The Dragon Ball made by this product can actually make people become the best in the universe. Of course, it is the number one powerhouse in the universe limited to humans. This is also very impressive. Although he achieved his own super strength by compressing his life. But Chi Tian feels, Shenron of Earth and Namek may not be able to do this. Let this Shenron give me a wish to survive in the universe, isn't it too much? As for what universe is the first? No need. I have a more sense of accomplishment through training and reducing my combat effectiveness. Chi Tian quickly appeared in the Universe Spacecraft Launch Center and found a small Universe Spacecraft. Hey, Chi Tian, Frieza told us not to leave planet Vegeta in a short time. Saiyan stepped forward and said to Chi Tian. Yeah, I'll go to the toilet. Chi Tian smiled slightly, did not say much to the other party, and entered the Universe Spacecraft at that time. Call out. Chi Tian pressed the start button. 
the Universe spacecraft quickly sank into the sky and soon disappeared. This Saiyan was messy in the wind. You need to go to the toilet. Why are you still driving the Universe spacecraft? Can't you find a better reason? Dot dot dot. The vast starry sky. Frieza's Universe spacecraft. Your Excellency Frieza, more and more Saiyan has returned to planet Vegeta. Bela Blue said respectfully. Bailey Brew is a female alien with blue skin and pink hair. She is short in stature. She can be regarded as Frieza's personal nanny. Frieza nodded slightly, walked to the window, and looked at the distant planet Vegeta. This is a good opportunity to kill Saiyan all at once. Bailey Brew smiled. Oh ha ha ha. Frieza let out a weird laugh. It is estimated that in about four months, almost all Saiyans will return to planet Vegeta. Bailey Bulu continued, however, Lord Frieza, Saiyan is a fighting nation. If they are eliminated, our army will be more effective. Decline, right. It's true that Saiyan is a fighting nation, but these wild monkeys are never reconciled to doing things under my hands. One day they will resist me for this. Frieza snorted, moreover, about Super Saiyan and Super regarding Saiyan God, I still have to guard against it. It is more appropriate to plan early. Your Excellency Frieza, I think that Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan God are just a cliché hero legend. Bela Blue smiled. Of course I know this, but I feel a little uneasy. Frieza sat on the aircraft and said with a smile, Anyway, the Saiyans are a group of extremely proud guys, and they will not completely become me. Faithful servant. Bailey Brook nodded slightly. Besides, it is also the meaning of Lord Beerus to destroy planet Vegeta. Frieza smiled. In short, it will be Saiyan's end in four months. This planet will also turn into universe dust, ha 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 ha. Your Excellency Frieza, found a small universe spacecraft that just left planet Vegeta. At this time, some subordinates came to report. Oh, who is it? Frieza smiled slightly, didn't I keep all Saiyan from leaving their planet? Pattern. After a skillful operation by the Kikoner scientist, Chitian's figure was also displayed on the screen. It's just a super inferior fighter with a combat power of only 100. Kikono smiled contemptuously. He seems to be called Chi Tien. Bela Blue pondered, he was born with a combat power of 2000. He was once known as a genius of Saiyan, and he is most likely to become a Super Saiyan. Oh, really? Frieza rubbed his nose and teased, Belaburu, don't you make me laugh, do you want to be Super Saiyan when you have only 100 combat power? This, Bailey Brew also couldn't help laughing. No, why did this guy's combat power drop from 2000 to 100? Frieza curiously gossiped, is there something wrong with the practice? Perhaps, Bailey Brew replied, according to the survey, his combat effectiveness reached a peak of 15,000 when he was 5 years old, and then it will be lower year after year. The 5-year-old's combat power has reached 15,000, which is very similar to the little prince Vegeta. Frieza groaned, it's a pity, now there is only 100 combat power left. Your Excellency Frieza, do you want to beat him down? Someone asked. Ignore my orders and leave planet Vegeta without authorization. Even if the combat power is only 100, I will not let him go. Frieza snorted, but don't have to eliminate him too obviously, so as not to make Saiyan who has not returned yet suspicious. Quote. Then find two people to follow him, find one far away from the planet Vegeta star domain and destroy him. Bailey Blue suggested, the combat power is only 100, and anyone can kill him. Just do it. Frieza nodded. Yes, the subordinate immediately arranged. It's just a Saiyan with 100 combat power. It's too easy to kill this guy. Call out. A small spacecraft flew out of Frieza's universe spacecraft and quickly chased it in the direction of Chi Tien. Just not long after Chi Tien left planet Vegeta, Vegeta also woke up leisurely. What? I was actually knocked out by a guy with only 100 combat power. Vegeta was shocked and angry, showing a face of disbelief. Vegeta immediately went to find Chi Tien's whereabouts. When it was learned that Chi Tien had left planet Vegeta, Vegeta also immediately set foot on the universe spacecraft, intending to track Chi Tien. At this time, several teenagers such as Raditz and Nappa just passed by here. His Royal Highness, we have just discovered a planet with fairly good resources. We are about to team up to fight monsters. Do we want to be together? Raditz asked quickly. Ha, huh, I'm not interested. Vegeta snorted. Go by yourself, 
don't come and disturb me. But, that guy Frieza doesn't allow us to leave planet Vegeta. Now planet Vegeta is so boring, we want to fight. Nappa said. Asshole Frieza, did you reach out to our planet Vegeta? Vegeta clenched his fists and greeted, in that case, you will take my universe spaceship and leave with me. I want to see, it's me. Does this prince speak or does Frieza speak? Very good. Raditz, Nappa and others were excited. Call out. The universe spacecraft soared into the sky and left planet Vegeta. Your Excellency Frieza, just now, Vegeta and a few Saiyans children also left planet Vegeta. Some of his staff immediately reported the matter to Frieza. Oh, really? Frieza smiled softly, dragging her chin in silent contemplation. Your Excellency Frieza, do you want to kill Vegeta and the others? The subordinate asked. Vegeta IV, known as Saiyan's most talented warrior, right? Frieza said with a smile, so, he is the most likely guy to become Super Saiyan. Your Excellency Frieza, in fact, you can arrange Vegeta in a more special environment. Bela Blue smiled mysteriously. How do you say? Frieza looked at Bailey Brow. Your Excellency Frieza, we have played an online game before. If a high-level big player keeps hacking mobs in Novice Village, then the experience points he gains are very small, and it is very difficult for him to upgrade. Belabaru said with a smile. I understand what you mean, I have a lot of ideas, just do what you say. Frieza nodded, without objection. So, what about the other Saiyans cubs? Someone asked again. If Vegeta's combat effectiveness has been stagnant, and some of them dare to exceed Vegeta's combat effectiveness, then kill them. Frieza smiled and ordered. Dot dot dot. Chi Tian quickly sensed the enemy appearing behind him. These are two guys with a combat power of around 600. Chi Tian landed temporarily on a certain planet, looking at the universe spaceship that was chasing quickly, an evil arc was evoked at the corner of his mouth. Snapped. A blue light spot appeared in Chi Tian's fingers. There are only light spots the size of sesame seeds. Call out. The spot of light swiftly flew towards the direction of the opponent's universe spacecraft, leaving a light blue light in the air. The light spot hit the opponent's universe spaceship on the spot. Boom, only heard a loud noise, the universe spacecraft had a big explosion. The two Frieza brothers who came after them didn't even know how they died. Chi Tian shook his head, stepped on the universe spaceship again, and left. Chi Tian decided to go to the Earth first. Although there are only two Dragon Balls on Cyril Star, it is undoubtedly a needle in a haystack to find two Dragon Balls on a huge planet. Chi Tian's purpose in going to the Earth is to let Bulma or her father help him build Dragon Ball Radar. With Dragon Ball Radar, it is much easier to find Dragon Ball. Call out, Chi Tian's universe spacecraft swept across the sky, leaving a long trace in the starry sky. Dot dot dot, ten days later, Chi Tian's universe spacecraft landed steadily on the Earth. Chi Tian flew up into the sky and flew towards the direction of Exidu. It didn't take long before Chi Tian saw the remarkable building of the Wanang capsule group. Snapped, Chi Tian descended from the sky and landed in the courtyard of Bulma's house. Soon, Chi Tian discovered Drive Breath and his daughter Bulma. Today, Bulma is only six years old, with lavender hair fluttering in the wind, bright eyes and big eyes, and he looks more kawaii. Are you Drive Breath? Chi Tian walked forward directly and asked politely. You, flew. Breff helped his glasses and asked in surprise. Bulma's eyes widened too. My name is Chi Tian. Where is your warehouse? Chi Tian didn't mean anything. The warehouse, over there. Breff was stunned, and pointed mechanically at the warehouse not far away. Chi Tian stepped forward and entered the warehouse. Bulma once said that the first Dragon Ball she found was in their warehouse. After Chi Tian entered the warehouse, the energy on his body was slightly released. Suddenly, everything in the warehouse was suspended in the air out of thin air. It was easy, Chi Tian found the Dragon Ball he needed from among many objects. Dr. Breath, can you make a radar to detect this kind of thing? Chi Tian Chi Tian took the Dragon Ball and came outside. This is, what? Dr. Brive helped his glasses again. Kiki, this is my house, right? You really don't think of yourself as an outsider. This is called Dragon Ball. According to ancient documents, there are a total of seven Dragon Balls. As long as you collect seven Dragon Balls and say, come out Shenron, Shenron will appear, and you can realize any wish, 
Chi Tian explained briefly. Are you looking for Dragon Ball? Breath understood. Chi Tian nodded. Can I see it? Breath asked. Chi Tian handed the Dragon Ball to Brive. Breath looked at it carefully, nodded gently, and said, Well, this little thing can emit light and has its own light waves. It shouldn't be difficult to make a similar radar, but I have to study it in detail. I'll be able to do it in one week. Drive Lao. Chi Tian saluted. But I would like to ask, what is your wish? For someone who has a bad heart, I will not help him. Dr. Breath looked at Chi Tian's eyes with a serious expression. Don't worry, I just want the ability to survive in the universe. Chi Tian smiled and said, Moreover, I don't need the Earth's Dragon Ball. The level of the Earth's Shenron is too poor. I'm afraid I can't realize my wish. Quote. Brive. Bulma, how do you hear what you mean? You seem to be an alien. Is Big Brother an alien? Bulma looked up and asked Chi Tian. The answer is correct. Chi Tian smiled and nodded, squeezing Bulma's face. Don't pinch my face. People like melon seeds. Bulma exclaimed angrily. The fat ones are more lovely. Chi Tian grinned, revealing a mouthful of white teeth. Bulma, brother, you are too much. Doctor, did you see my innocent smile just now? Chi Tian said to Dr. Breath. Brive, you squeezed my daughter's face, and you still said that you have an innocent smile. Shame on you. But Breath can be sure that this kid doesn't seem to have much malice in his heart. His smile is still innocent. It also looks kind in his eyes. Is Big Brother really an alien? Bulma asked. Yes, do you want me to summon the Universe spacecraft to show you? Chi Tian smiled. Universe spaceship, really? Bulma's eyes lit up. Big Brother is really an alien. Chi Tian took out the remote control and pressed several buttons on it. Call out. In the blink of an eye, a small universe spaceship appeared in the sky. The universe spacecraft descended from the sky and slowly landed in the courtyard of Bulma's house. Is this the universe spaceship? It has a sense of technology. Bulma clapped his hands excitedly. As a reward for the Dragon Ball radar, I can lend you the universe spaceship for research and research but don't dismantle my universe spaceship. I have to use the spaceship to go to other planets. Chi Tian smiled said to Dr. Breath. Okay, deal. Breath readily agreed. Big brother, you are an alien, but you don't look much different from our people on Earth. Bulma looked up and down Chi Tian and asked curiously, by the way, I seem to see you it's flying. There is a difference, I have a tail. Chi Tian smiled slightly, and the tail wrapped around his waist was also slightly swaying. Tail, Bulma was stunned. Brive's eyes widened too. Hurry up and do business. Chi Tian greeted with a smile. Okay. Breath nodded and took the Dragon Ball to the laboratory for research. Big brother Chi Tian, what is your name? Bulma asked excitedly. Finally saw a living alien. Chi Tian. Bulma also reacted suddenly. I seem to know his name. Bulma. Your name is Bulma. Do you want to fly into the sky? Big brother takes you to fly. Chi Tian said with a smile. Can aliens fly? Bulma's big eyes were filled with endless curiosity. Not all aliens can fly. Chi Tian smiled and said, Come on, on my back. Okay. Bulma did not object, and lay on the back of Chi Tian. I'm going to take off. Chi Tian said, slowly ascending to the sky. Wow, it really flew. Great, great. Bulma was surprised and happy, cheering. Chi Tian also gradually increased the speed of flight. Bulma was dancing with joy. One hour later, Chi Tian circled the earth and returned. It's not that Chi Tian flies slowly, but is worried that Bulma can't stand it flying too fast. After all, Bulma is just a charming little girl. It's so enjoyable. Bulma got down from Chi Tian's back, feeling unfinished. Are you from an alien planet Chi Tian? At this time, Bulma's mother, Bridget, came forward with the fruit plate. Obviously, Bridget had already learned about Chi Tian from Dr. Breath. Hello. Chi Tian nodded. Aliens are so handsome. Bridget showed an idiotic expression on her face. Chi Tian, I finally know who is with Bulma. Bulma has such a mother. Can you eat some fruit? Bridget handed over the fruit. You can eat these fruits, right? Yes, my eating habits are similar to those on Earth. Chi Tian nodded politely. In this way, Chi Tian temporarily stayed at Bulma's house. One week later, Brive's Dragon Ball radar is finally ready. 
Chi Tian looked at the Dragon Ball radar and was speechless for a moment. So big. Chi Tian wiped sweat. Ha, huh, is it bigger? Breath was stunned. The screen is bigger for easy viewing. Should it be smaller? Forget it. Let me take a look first. Chi Tian shook his head. Breath's Dragon Ball radar is a bit the size of a pad. It is completely different from the Dragon Ball radar made by Bulma afterwards. Mistakes. You should first draw the look of the Dragon Ball radar to bribe. But it doesn't matter. Chi Tian didn't intend to spend his whole life in searching for Dragon Ball. Chi Tian just wants to simply have the ability to survive in the universe. Chi Tian pressed a button on the Dragon Ball radar similar to the size of a pad. Similar to the Dragon Ball radar made by Bulma, after the button is pressed, seven sparkling golden light spots are displayed on the screen. The map can be zoomed in and out, is it convenient? Brive used two fingers to enlarge the map. Chi Tian, this is Apple, are you the reincarnation of old Joe? Can this radar be used on an alien planet? Chi Tian asked. As long as there is a ball of the same nature as this kind of dragon ball on that planet, the dragon ball radar will definitely be able to detect its specific location. Bref replied. Okay. Chi Tian nodded. So, can I study your universe spacecraft? Bref asked expectantly. Of course there is no problem. Chi Tian did not object. Great, so that the technology on the Earth will be 10 or even 100 years ahead of schedule. Bref said with a look of excitement. Sometimes the improvement of technology may not be a good thing, but will only bring disasters to the Earth. Chi Tian said. I understand the truth, but I am a scientist, and it is my duty to improve the scientific level of the entire planet. With the advancement of technology, perhaps it will be better to defend the planet. Bref said seriously. Chi Tian didn't say anything more. No matter how high technology you have, it can't be worth a finger of gods of destruction. Well, that's the fate of the Earth anyway. In short, there are no dangers. Ordinarily, at this time Son Goku should also descend on this planet, right? Chi Tian raised his head and looked at the sky, silently let go of the induction. Forget it, don't look for it. This is so special. Kakarot's combat power is only two, and it is difficult to sense his breath. Dot dot dot. Another week passed. Brive also researched Chi Tian's universe spacecraft. In this week's time, Chi Tian was also free when he was free, and simply went to look for Dragon Ball in his free time. With Chi Tian's current speed, finding Dragon Ball is simply too easy. In only three days, Chi Tian collected all seven Dragon Balls. If it weren't for one of the Dragon Balls hidden in the deep sea, it would not be easy to find, otherwise it would not take Chi Tian so long to find the Dragon Ball. The reason for looking for Dragon Ball on the Earth. Perhaps the Dragon Ball of the Earth can fulfill my wish. If I can, why should I go to Cyril? In the process of searching for the Dragon Ball, Chi Tian stopped by the Galen Pagoda again, and walked along with a lot of fairy beans from the immortal Galen. Fairy beans are good things. Since I came to the Earth and left without some local specialties, how sorry I am. What? All go along. Chi Tian also thought about it, it's useless to have so many fairy beans. Really encounter an opponent who can kill me in seconds, it is too late to eat fairy beans. And to meet opponents who are inferior to me, fairy beans are not needed. In addition, in this period, my 10 billion combat power, it seems that there is really no suitable opponent. Too many fairy beans is a burden. In the courtyard of Bulma's house, Chi Tian placed seven dragon balls on the ground. Brive, Bridget, and Bulma are all nearby, looking forward to see if Shenron appears. Come out, Shenron, fulfill my wish. Chi Tian said to the seven dragon balls. Suddenly, the golden glow on the seven dragon balls shone and bloomed. The sky was suddenly dark. In a moment, a golden beam of light rose into the sky. The next moment, the golden beam of light turned into a blue dragon, winding in the night sky, gleaming. There really is Shenron, Bulma exclaimed. Is this Shenron who can fulfill any wish? Breath looked up at Shenron in the sky in surprise. It's big. Bridget was also stunned. Those who have collected seven dragon balls, speak out your wish. I will do my best to realize one for you. Shenron's voice rang. Can I live forever? Chi Tian asked. Shenron. It won't work in principle. I can only increase your lifespan by a few years. Shenron replied. How many years can you increase my lifespan? 
Chi Tian asked with a smile. Are you, Saiyan? Shenren quickly saw the identity of Chi Tian, was taken aback, and immediately replied, Saiyan's lifespan is not much different from that of a human being on Earth, it's about 100 years. I can do my best to increase your lifespan by about 300 years. It's only 300 years. I thought you could add 1,000 or even 10,000 years. It disappointed me too much. Chi Tian shook his head. Shenren, I was actually despised. Because Saiyan is relatively special, the 300-year life expectancy is already the limit. If I change to a human being on Earth, I can increase my lifespan by nearly 2,000 years. Shenren explained. It's not that I'm not good at it, but that you Saiyan has a special body. This is your problem. I can increase my lifespan by 300 years, which is already very remarkable. So, can you give me the ability to survive in the universe? Chi Tian ignored Shenren's explanation and asked again. This need to change your physical physique is a very complicated process. I'm sorry, your strength has far surpassed me, and I can't change your body. Shenren wiped his sweat. Well, let the world be peaceful. Chi Tian said, this wish can always be realized, right? Shenren, ahem, the so-called world peace means that there are no large-scale military wars in the world. Today there is only one country in this world. War naturally does not exist. Shenren replied, as for the advent of dark forces and evil forces, etc., is not within the scope of world peace. Speaking of people, Chi Tian said, sorry, this wish cannot be fulfilled. Shenren sweated on his face. Big brother Chi Tian, didn't you say that Shenren can achieve any wish? How do I feel that he can't achieve anything? Bulma was speechless. Shenren, I was actually despised by a little girl. Otherwise, dot you give me 300 years of lifespan first. Chi Tian sighed. Shenren showed a look of helplessness. How do I feel that your wish is reluctant? Shenren just planned to give Chi Tian a lifespan of 300 years, and Chi Tian spoke again. Wait a minute, I call you out next time, can you still give me another 300 years of lifespan? Chi Tian asked. This, no, these 300 years are already my limit. Shenren sweated on his face. Neither does this, nor does that, 300 year lifespan does not make much sense. You should transfer me in the universe spacecraft to Cyril Star, right? This wish can always be realized. Chi Tian Blackface asked. What a useless Shenren. Only 300 years of lifespan has been increased. For Chi Tian, it is not enough. In this Dragon Ball world, the Angel Clan is the real immortality, who have lived for hundreds of millions of years. Not to mention Angel, even Mo Luo has lived for 10 million years. There is also Supreme Kai, which can live at least tens of millions of years. 300 years. It's too short. This wish is meaningless. What's the point of adding 1000 years? When the time comes, you can't beat others, and if you are given a second by others, it is even more meaningless. This is no problem, Shenren responded quickly. Finally the boy's wish can be realized. Wait a minute, I will tell each individual first. Chi Tian said. Shenren, then, I should also say goodbye. Chi Tian said to the Bulma family, I have troubled you all this time. Come back to play when you have time, Breath said. You can use this as your home. Big brother, I want to marry you. I don't want to go to school. Bulma pouted, and said to Chi Tian. Bulma, even if you marry Chi Tian today, you have to go to school. Bridget whispered. Don't, I want to follow Chi Tian big brother to the Cyril Star Tour. Bulma stepped forward and hugged Chi Tian's thigh. Chi Tian, Bulma, when I come back next time, I will bring you good things. Chi Tian smiled and stroked Bulma's purple hair, and said softly, even if Bulma wants to marry me, he has to grow up quickly, right? Quote. I am already an adult. Bulma said, if you want to bulge forward and backward like your mother, she is a real good-looking woman. Chi Tian said with a smile. Bridget, Brigetta's face flushed. Are you complimenting me? Brive, Bulma looked confused. Is it a good-looking woman? Chi Tian waved to the Bulma family. Well, now I can realize my wish. Chi Tian greeted Shenren. No problem. Shenren's eyes flashed red. Ha! Huh. Just in the blink of an eye, Chi Tian disappeared with the universe spacecraft. Dot dot dot. Temple. The god of the earth frowned. Shenren was called out, and as a god, he was naturally aware. 
Who is this person who summoned Shenron? Fairy Galen, can you also sense the existence of this person? The god asked the immortal Galen in the Galanta below. Induced, my fairy beans are missing. I'm afraid he took it away. Immortal Jeline said. What, does he even know about Shondo? The god was surprised. God, it seems that this person does not do much harm to the earth at the moment. Immortal Galen said in deep thought, although he is an alien from heaven, but at least from the moment he arrived on the earth, he has not hurt an innocent person. Humans, and he and the bribes get along very well. So I'm relieved. The god nodded slightly and replied, it's just that what makes me a little uneasy is that Shenron said that this person's strength is far beyond him. What, that means he has surpassed your strength? Immortal Galen was surprised, and then relieved, that's right, he can take away my fairy beans without knowing it, showing his strength. It's really extraordinary. Recently, there are so many alien visitors. The god sighed, first it was him, and then two more universe spacecraft descended on the earth one after another. One of them was a child about three years old with clothes and clothes on him. The person named Chi Tian is almost the same, probably from the same planet, currently located near Baozi Mountain. Another universe spacecraft broke down on the small island to the east, this person is a whole body of justice. Baozishan, isn't one of Master Roshi's apprentices living in Baozishan? Immortal Jeline was taken aback. The person you are talking about is called Sun Gohan. It's a more just person who can arrange for him to meet that child. Maybe it will be helpful to that child, or it may provide a good environment for that child's future development. The god sighed. Dot dot dot. Cyrillic star. Ha. Huh. Chi Tian and the universe flying ship appeared on this planet in an instant. The area of this planet is about the same as the earth. Currently, Chi Tian is located on a barren prairie. There is no one nearby. Let alone people. Even monsters rarely appear. Chi Tian had nothing to sigh, and immediately took out the pad and pressed the upper button. Suddenly, two golden light spots appeared on the pad. Around the light spot, a map was automatically gathered. This thing is really advanced. As expected of Dr. Breath. The two dragon balls are not too far apart. One of the dragon balls, Chi Tian knew it was in Monet's house. Call out. Chi Tian flew quickly in the direction where one of the dragon balls was. Ten minutes later, Chi Tian came to an endless mountain range and successfully found the first dragon ball in the crevices of the rocks. Chi Tian took the dragon ball and flew quickly in the direction of the second dragon ball. Call out, Chi Tian drew a light and shadow on the sky, raising the speed to the extreme. The distance of close to 10,000 kilometers is only a blink of an eye for the current Chi Tian. A certain mountainous area. This is Monette's home. Monette's home is away from town. In this home, only Monette and Granola live. Granola's age is not much different from Vegeta's, and she is about five or six years old. Just the year before last, Granola, who was only four years old, saw with her own eyes how her planet was destroyed by Saiyan. That scene so far has shocked Granola, often having nightmares at night. Especially seeing those black gorillas, Granola was even more scared to wet the bed. At this time, Granola is practicing seriously. Monette was sitting at the door of his house, silently watching Granola practice. Grandpa, Frieza and Saiyan's account, I will pay them double one day. Granola gritted her teeth, clenched her fist, and said bitterly. Child, hatred will only make you lose your way. Monette sighed. No, without hatred, I would not have the motivation to practice. I will surpass Saiyan, I will surpass Frieza. I want them to pay the price of blood. Granola smashed a piece of the doorway with a punch when she said this, big stone. Above the sky, Chi Tian just suspended in the air, silently looking at Monette and Granola below. The hatred in this little guy's heart is not small. But think about it, after all, this little guy's clansmen have been wiped out. He was the only Cyrillic left. It is unrealistic to say that there is no hatred while watching the destruction of his own people. Down with Saiyan, down with Frieza. Granola continued to wave her small fist. Monette shook his head and sighed. There is such a big hatred at a young age. Monet felt that it was not fair to Granola. But, how fair is this vast universe? Um, at this moment, Monette seemed to sense something suddenly and looked up to the sky. Snapped. Chi Tian descended from the sky and landed near two people. What, Saiyan? Granola's eyes widened, 
and she recognized Chi Tian's identity at a glance. After all, Chi Tian is wearing Saiyan's clothes, with a tail wrapped around his waist that is easy to identify. Saiyan, Monette also showed a nervous expression, hurriedly hugged Granola behind him, and blocked him with his body. Granola was also immediately stunned. Although Granola yelled for revenge and to eliminate Saiyan and Frieza, he was a kid after all, and it was normal to be afraid. Moreover, the Cyrillic people are not a fighting nation, and they are not militant. Saiyan, what are you doing here? Monette asked vigilantly. Snapped. At the tip of Chi Tian's index finger, a light blue spot suddenly appeared. You, what do you want to do? Monette's face changed slightly. As a Namek person, Monette can clearly sense the terrible destructive power of this light spot. How could there be such a powerful Saiyan? He is much stronger than those Saiyan who came to occupy this planet. Call out. Chi Tian pointed the light blue light on the tip of his finger at a nearby huge rock. The light spot quickly sank into the boulder. Snapped. Suddenly, the boulder shattered on the spot, turned into rubble, and scattered all over the ground. Granola was scared to pee. Too frightening. If this hits me, I am afraid I will suffer the same as those stones. Granola's legs kept trembling, and her face was frightened like a blank sheet of paper. Little guy, I heard just now that you seemed to seek revenge from Saiyan. Chi Tian looked at Granola with a smile. Granola was about to cry. Very scary. Hey, he is still a child. Monette said quickly. Child, do I want to keep this child to raise a tiger? Chi Tian smiled lightly. Why don't you cut the grass and root? When one day, he will come to me for revenge. Granola's body was shaking more violently. However, after the extreme fear, Granola is more of endless anger. Granola thought of her family and people. They died miserably. Wow, I'll fight with you. Granola gritted her teeth, waved her fist, and rushed towards Chi Tian. Chi Tian grabbed Granola's head. Granola waved her small fist, but because her arms and legs were too short, she couldn't hit Chi Tian at all. Boy, even with your current strength, you also want to seek revenge from Saiyan. I think you are wishful thinking. Chi Tian shook his head, don't say it's now, if you cultivate for another 100 years, you won't be able to become a climate. What are you talking about? As long as you give me enough time, I will definitely defeat you. Granola shouted angrily. Do you think I will give you time? Chi Tian smiled softly. This friend, if you have something to say, as long as you can let this child go, no matter what you ask for, I will promise you. Monet hurriedly said. Boom, Chi Tian slapped Granola with a slap. Monet was taken aback, but he was relieved after seeing Granola's life unhindered. Hand over the Dragon Ball, this is my only condition. Chi Tian said to Monet. What, you actually know the existence of Dragon Ball? Even Frieza doesn't know Dragon Ball. Monet's face changed color. What, do you refuse to hand over the Dragon Ball? Then, I have to kill the remnants of this serial star. Chi Tian pointed his hand at Granola's body. Okay, I can give you a Dragon Ball. Monet responded immediately. Anyway, I gave you the Dragon Ball, and you don't know how to make a wish. You don't even know the spell that summons Shenron, do you? No. After giving the Dragon Ball to him, I have to take the Granola to transfer the place immediately. Lest he use Granola to threaten me again and let me speak the spell that summons Shenron. Also, he doesn't know where the other Dragon Ball is, right? After so many years, I don't even know where the second Dragon Ball went. The planet is so big and the Dragon Ball is so small, it may be difficult to find it. Give it to you. Please wait a moment, Monet said turning around and entering the room. He quickly took out the dragon ball in his room and handed it to Chi Tian, saying, now you can leave here. Right. Chi Tian took the dragon ball and nodded in satisfaction. Immediately afterwards, Chi Tian looked at Monet with a smile. Monet's face changed slightly. What's your face? Hey, I didn't want to kill him, thank you for your dragon ball, goodbye. After Chi Tian finished speaking, he left in a flash. Monet silently looked at the direction in which Chi Tian disappeared, his expression also became complicated. Monet could vaguely sense that Saiyan is not easy. With Granola's talent and aptitude, I am afraid that he may not be his opponent even after 100 years of cultivation. Monet let out a helpless sigh. Dot dot dot. Chi Tian took two Dragon Balls and appeared in a deserted area. 
Chi Tian put the two dragon balls on the ground and took out a small notebook from his pocket. Open the small book and record a sentence in it. This sentence is written like this, Takarapa, Tronpo, Pupilite, Paro. Fortunately Chi Tian's memory is better. When watching the Dragon Ball Super, he remembered Granola's spell to summon Shenron. After Chi Tian passed through, he quickly found a small notebook to write down this spell. This spell is so complicated, Chi Tian worried that he would forget it for too long. Takarapa, Tetronpo, Kupaliparo, Chi Tian said loudly to the two Dragon Balls. Suddenly, golden light blooms on the two Dragon Balls. The next moment, a golden beam of light rose into the sky. Just in the blink of an eye, the golden beam of light turned into a dragon like a long snake. Person who has collected two dragon balls, please state your wishes. I can fulfill any of your wishes as much as possible. Shenron's voice rang. My wish is very simple. Let me have the ability to survive in the universe. Chi Tian made a wish to Shenron. This wish is indeed very simple. Shenron said, two red lights flashing in his eyes. The flame quickly covered Chi Tian's body. Your wish has come true, goodbye. After Shenron finished speaking, he disappeared immediately. Chi Tian felt his body silently. There seems to be no special change. But I did feel that I seemed to have a special ability. I'll try it in the universe space. Call out. Chi Tian flew into the sky, passed through the atmosphere and the troposphere, and continued to travel to the upper air all the way. Soon, Chi Tian slowly appeared outside the Cyril Star. This is the universe space. Terrible universe space. In this area, after Saiyan came here, he would die immediately. However, Chi Tian is safe and sound. Chi Tian could clearly feel that after he came to this universe space, his skin seemed to have the ability to breathe. Instead of exchanging air through your own lungs. It feels very subtle. Call. Chi Tian took a deep breath. It's totally normal. Although there is no air in the universe, it is equivalent to a vacuum environment. But Chi Tian can still inhale and exhale. This world is so wonderful. Newton's coming to be flattened, right? Dot dot dot. Cyrillic star. Monette's eyes widened. What? This Saiyan actually summoned Shenron. How did he find that Dragon Ball? How did he know the spell? The spell to summon Shenron, I didn't even tell Granola. I plan to wait for Granola to tell him the spell to summon Shenron when he gets older. In other words, no one but me knows how to summon Shenron. By the way, the compatriots who came to the Cyril Star with me for refuge know this spell. The problem is that all of my compatriots have passed away one after another over the years. Besides, even if my countrymen were still alive, they couldn't tell this guy the spell to summon Shenron. Monette's face changed again and again. Saiyan is definitely not as simple as it seems on the surface. Granola woke up leisurely, his pants were soaked. Grandpa, am I still alive? Granola stood up shivering. Granola, you are still alive, you are not in a big trouble. Monette said. Where's that Saiyan? Granola looked pale, looking around, looking for the figure of Chi Tien. He has left. Monette sighed. Leave, what is he doing? Granola was a little confused. Maybe it's here to travel. Monet pondered. Granola. Grandpa, do you really treat me as a three-year-old child? Granola, you can only make higher progress if you let go of the hatred in your heart. Monet persuaded. But Grandpa, if I let go of the hatred in my heart, I will lose the motivation to practice. Granola shook her head. I still said that, hatred will only deceive your mind. You are a kind, good boy. Monette said. Be kind you will be bullied by the wicked. Granola gritted her teeth and said, I know the gap with that Saiyan, I will practice hard, and one day I will surpass him. Monette said nothing more. What kind of wish did Saiyan make? Dot dot dot. Universe space. Chi Tian soared in this universe space for a while. Well, it feels so good. It's great to be able to survive in the universe. At least I feel that there is no shortcoming for the time being. Next, where should I go? To get a higher level of promotion, Chi Tian knows that only following Wis to practice is the best choice at the moment. By the way, I followed Wis and learned about freedom. Fortunately, Chi Tian was good at cooking in his previous life. When Chi Tian was okay in the previous life, he cooked by himself, and his level was fair enough to reach the level of a chef. But, how do you get to the planet of Beerus? Beerus in this period should be sleeping, right? 
But before going to the planet Beerus, shouldn't you find a planet to improve your cooking skills? At least let the whole planet feel that what I make is the most delicious on this planet. Only in this way can we meet Wis's standard of eating food. Maybe, instead of me looking for Wis, he will come here by himself. Snapped. Chi Tian took out the remote control of the universe spacecraft and pressed the button on it. Ha! Huh, suddenly, Chi Tian's universe spacecraft appeared quickly beside him. Chi Tian stepped on the universe spacecraft, looking for a suitable planet. After exploring the universe for a period of time, Chi Tian really found a planet suitable for him. This planet is called the Vanford planet. The humans on the planet Vanford are a hodgepodge, with all kinds of species on it. In addition, this planet is also famous for its food. It is said that the chocolate and other delicacies eaten by Frieza and others were all transported from this planet. However, the Frieza Legion did not take this planet as its own. Frieza said, let this planet develop on its own, not to interfere too much. Because Frieza knows very well that Beerus likes good food. If too much interference with the development of this planet makes the food inside become worse, it will still be very painful for Beerus to come to the door. After Chi Tian landed on this planet, he opened a milk tea shop on the planet. Only sell milk tea. Because Chi Tian found through investigation that although this planet is famous for its gourmet food, it does not have a milk tea shop. It would be a waste not to open a milk tea shop. Not to mention, milk tea, a new type of beverage, quickly became popular all over the world. More and more aliens come here to drink milk tea not far away thousands of light years or even tens of thousands of light years. Several months passed like this. Dot dot dot. The vast starry sky, Frieza's universe spacecraft. Aha ha ha. The planet destroyer in Frieza's hand bloomed, waved his hand and slammed it on the distant planet Vegeta. Boom. Planet Vegeta bloomed with brilliant colors in the starry sky, and it turned into the dust of the universe. Wah ha ha ha, Frieza laughed. HMPH, almost all Saiyan has been wiped out. Super Saiyan is just a joke. Frieza returned to the universe spacecraft. Your Excellency Frieza, you have worked hard. This is the latest drink developed on the planet Vanfoud. Please taste it. Bailey Brew offered the milk tea with both hands. Oh, what drink? Frieza was taken aback, completely ignorant of this drink. This kind of drink is called milk tea. It is said to be made from a mixture of milk and tea, which has been specially processed. Bailey Brew smiled and said, you can taste it, how does it taste? Frieza took a sip. It feels delicious. Well, Belly Blue, Planet Vanford can actually research this excellent drink. I don't know who researched it. Frieza asked curiously. It's ridiculous. It is said that the person who developed this drink is Saiyan. Bailey Brew glanced at Planet Vegeta, which had disappeared. Oh, so there is Saiyan who survived, hiding in the planet of Van Feud. Frieza's triangular eyes narrowed slightly. However, according to our people's investigation, this Saiyan's combat power is only 100, which is not to be feared. Bailey Blue replied. The combat power is only 100. Among Saiyan, is it a super inferior fighter? Frieza smiled slightly, no, he is not a fighter to be precise. Yes, Bela Blue nodded, forget it, don't worry about him. Frieza smiled, besides, I still want to drink the milk tea he made. It seems a pity to kill him. Yes, Bailey Brow responded, that's it again. A few months ago we sent to track down the Saiyan with 100 combat power. Is there no news later? Frieza took another sip of milk tea and asked casually. It is said that the universe spacecraft under those two men had a malfunction and unfortunately died in the universe space. Bailey Brow said with a wry smile. Forget it, I believe that guy can't make any waves. Frieza thought for a while, and thought it was fine. If you count this way, there are quite a few Saiyans who survived, Bela Blue replied. There are two Saiyans with a combat power of around 100, and there are three little guys Vegeta, Nappa and Raditz. By the way, is the Vegeta leveling plan ready? Frieza asked with a smile. It's already being arranged. At present, there are almost no powerful opponents in the star domain where Vegeta is located, and they can be killed by Vegeta. Bela Blue replied. Ha ha ha, Bailey Blow, you are so talented. Frieza laughed, took another sip of milk tea, and took a look at planet Vegeta, which was still dissipating. Frieza was in a good mood. Drinking milk tea, watching planet Vegeta disappear.
What a pleasant thing this is. Dot dot dot. Sixth universe. Champa planet. Hey, Vados, have you discovered any new delicacies recently? Champa clicked his lips, looking at Vados and asked. Master Champa has tasted all the food in our sixth universe. There is really no new food. Vados took the angel scepter in his hand and carefully investigated every food store in the sixth universe. Subsequently, Vados also shook his head in disappointment. I also want to enjoy new food. Unfortunately, this is the case for the sixth universe. I have eaten everything that I should eat, and there is really no freshness. Vados, do you think there will be any new delicacies in the seventh universe? Champa rolled his eyes and lowered his voice and asked. I haven't investigated, I don't know. Vados shook his head. While the guy Beerus is sleeping, you can quickly investigate and investigate, maybe there will be new discoveries. Champa grinned, I heard that there is a planet called Van Fudd on the seventh universe. I've eaten some of the delicacies. Although it's incomparable with the delicacies of our sixth universe, maybe they will have new delicacies born there. Okay, Master Champa, let me take a look. Vado's eyes lit up a little, and under the slight movement of his eyes, the angel scepter in his hand also flashed several pictures. At the next moment, the Van Fudd planet of the seventh universe appeared under the supervision of Vados. Oh, Master Champa, a new drink seems to have been born on the planet Van Foud, but it's very popular. Vados groaned. New drink, is it good? Champa was stunned. I like food better than drinks. This kind of drink is called milk tea. It is made from milk and tea through special processing. Vados said, I have never drank this kind of drink. Can it be delicious? Champa is not very optimistic about the milk tea. I don't know. Vados shook his head. But it is said that milk tea is a drink that has taken the world by storm, and even many aliens have tasted it all the way in the past. Oh, so it should be delicious, right? Champa moved a little. Master Champa, shall we taste it? Vados asked with a smile. I'm going, of course I'm going. Champa nodded, it's just that the journey is a bit far away, so I have to fly for more than an hour. Sometimes the process of enjoying food is also a journey full of expectations. Vados smiled slightly. Let's go. Champa stopped hesitating. Call out. The two turned into two bright flames, quickly sank into the sky, and soon disappeared. Dot dot dot. Seventh universe. Vanford planet. The old cheese milk tea shop. There was a long line at the entrance of the store, and there were at least thousands of people visually. Dear friends, do you understand the rules? Our milk tea only sells 1,000 copies a day, while stocks last. Chi Tian said loudly, 730 copies have been sold today. The number of people in this team is at least two people from three can't drink milk tea. The friends behind are all gone, let's go. As soon as the words came out, the customers at the back shook their heads with disappointment and left the line. However, there are still people who have the mentality to try and stay in the team. Hey, Chi Tian, do you know the Kurdish king? At this moment, there was an alien with purple skin and dark spots all over his body, jumping forward and looking at Chi Tian with a smile. I don't know. Chi Tian looked up at the other party, shook his head, don't hinder me from making milk tea, if you want milk tea, go in line behind, don't jump in the line. Chi Tian knew this guy. Isn't this Frieza's subordinate Chu Yi? Did he ask for milk tea for Frieza's father? I didn't make milk tea to catch Frieza and his father. I was fishing for Wis. Frieza is a wool. I can kill him with one finger. You lied. Do you think I don't know who you are? You are Saiyan. Does Saiyan know the Kurdish king and the Frieza army? Chu Yi was furious at the time, pointing at Chi Tian loudly, HMPH, you don't deceive yourself. After hearing Chu Yi's words, many customers were so frightened that they hurriedly gave him a seat. Don't throw in your own life just for the sake of drinking milk tea, it's not worth the gain. I, I, I. I gave my position to this adult. The customer who was at the top was counseled and gave up his seat. Hum, hum, Chi Tian, if I want to get milk tea, do I still have to line up? Chu Yi smiled contemptuously and walked to the front, you'd better make milk tea for me, if the Kurdish king doesn't drink it. If you are satisfied, I will demolish your milk tea shop. Also, I am afraid you don't know, your Saiyan planet has been destroyed, and there are only a few people left in your tribe. Cut, your combat power is only 100 idiot. Boom, 
Chi Tian didn't bother to listen to Chu Yi talking endlessly next to him, and then gently waved his hand, a powerful energy covered Chu Yi's body. Hearing a muffled noise, Chu Yi almost didn't react before he flew out quickly. Boom, Chu Yi's body quickly penetrated the mountain behind him and flew thousands of meters away. Chu Yi, die, everyone was stunned, let me go, is the owner of this milk tea shop so powerful? Many people know Chu Yi. It is said that this can be regarded as Lord Frieza's capable man. As a result, was just slapped flying by the owner of the milk tea shop. You, go back and tell Kurdish and Frieza, if you want to drink milk tea, just line up, otherwise you don't have to talk. Chi Tian pointed at the younger brother of another Frieza legion with a cold face. You, are. The little brother was frightened, a little incoherent, and wanted to pretend, but was afraid of being beaten to death. The younger brother also saw that just now, Chi Tian's combat effectiveness is only 100. The question is, how could Master Chu Yi be beaten to death with a combat power of 100? Don't you get out of here. Is it an eyesore in front of me? Chi Tian said coldly. The little brother stumbled and ran away. Soon, the little brother went to a place where there was no one, opened the communicator, and got in touch with his boss Dodoria. What? The guy Chu Yi was beaten to death by the owner of the milk tea shop when he was buying milk tea. Dodoria did not react. You are too random. Why was he beaten to death by the owner of the milk tea shop? Master Dodoria, the owner of this milk tea shop is saying. It's really weird, his combat power is only 100. The little brother was a little confused. 100 combat power, the detector must be malfunctioning. Dodoria replied. Yes, it should be a malfunction of the detector. Dot but Chu Yi's detector also shows that his combat power is 100. The little brother wiped his sweat and said a little confused. The detector is malfunctioning. Did the two detectors fail together? HMPH, Saiyan is almost all annihilated, is he still so arrogant? Dodoria smiled lightly. You wait, I will meet him in the past, and I want him to know how to provoke us. If Master Dodoria takes the shot, he will definitely be miserable. The younger brother breathed a sigh of relief. Lord Dodoria is an elite fighter of Lord Frieza. Dot dot dot. The old cheese milk tea shop. I saw Chi Tian stretched his arms, and the energy on his body emerged, quickly acting on more than 260 cups. Suddenly, these 260 cups were suspended. Shoo. A large bucket of milk slowly agglomerated and formed, gathered above the sky, dispersed into 260 portions, and sprinkled into these cups. The tea made in advance also fell into the cup in the same way. Chi Tian controlled the white sugar, and when the void was sprinkled like this, the white sugar also immediately entered the cup. Finally, add some seasonings. Seasoning is used to increase the taste of milk tea. This is Chi Tian's unique formula. Some people have thought of making milk tea made by Chi Tian, but they always feel that they lack a little taste. The missing flavor is the seasoning. In less than a minute, more than 260 cups of milk tea were completely prepared by Chi Tian. Swish. More than 260 cups of milk tea were suspended next to more than 260 people in front of the scene. One cup per person. In addition to the more than 700 cups made before, today's 1000 cups of milk tea has been made. It's not that Chi Tian has no materials to continue making milk tea. But Chi Tian is deliberately engaging in hunger marketing. If you don't engage in hunger marketing, when can you attract with? And this hunger marketing method is also very good, at least it makes more people want to drink the milk tea I made. The only milk tea in the whole universe. That's it. After these 260 people got the milk tea, they all left happily. Over the milk tea shop. Champa and Vado silently looked down at the milk tea shop below and Chi Tian in the milk tea shop. This kid's method of making drinks is quite unique. It seems that he has certain strength. Champa smiled. It's a pity that they are all sold out today. It's really unfortunate to come. Vados looked disappointed. HMPH, I am gods of destruction, I want to drink milk tea, I still don't believe he will refuse me. Champa snorted. Champa Sama should behave first and then fight. Vados suggested, this is not our sixth universe after all. If you destroy this planet, Lord Beerus will wake up and fight with you desperately. Am I afraid of that guy Beerus? Champa said stiffly, well, let's go down and take a look, and ask politely. 
Let's go. Vados nodded. Ha, ha. Champa and Vados fell from the sky and landed at the door of Chi Tian's milk tea shop. Chi Tian. I rub. Why are these two goods here? The whisk guy did not come, but attracted angel and gods of destruction from the sixth universe. Boy, are you still selling milk tea? Champa asked directly. Gods of destruction is such a temper. Champa felt that he was very kind already. Sorry, only 1,000 copies are sold every day. Until the sale runs out, today's share is gone. Chi Tian shook his head, this friend will come again tomorrow. You obviously still have the ingredients, how about making two more copies? Champa said with a black face. Sure enough, this kid didn't get in oil and salt. Should I destroy him? Little friend Chi Tian, the two of us come from a very far away place, can we take special care of them? Vados smiled softly and said softly. Ah, since this beautiful woman said so, then I will prepare two more copies. Chi Tian nodded gently. My first love is a girl with a ponytail, she looks very similar to you. Champa. Vados. Oh, yes, Vados smiled again on his face. Not to mention, Chi Tian saw Vados in manga or anime before, and felt that Vados looked just like that. Although it looks good, but the skin color is really unbearable to look directly at it. But when I saw it today, Chi Tian was shocked. Worthy of being a true god. Vados has its own fairy spirit, which is by no means comparable to ordinary girls. Even if it is a beautiful girl like her, but perhaps because of the lack of Xi'an Chi, compared with Vados, there is a big gap. Seeing today, Chi Tian knew what a perfect woman is. Vados looks and figure are perfect. If the skin color can be changed to the same skin tone as mine, then universe will definitely not be able to pick a second such beauty. Ah, I seem to be able to pick it out. There is also Angel, the beauty of Makarita. I don't know who is better looking at Makarita or Vados. This kind of thing is actually not a good comparison. It's like dropping a wad of banknotes and a piece of gold on the ground. What to choose? Pick a wool. All I want. Chi Tian thinks a lot at a time. Please wait a moment. After Chi Tian finished speaking, he began to make milk tea again. After hearing what Chi Tian said, many female aliens began to try the ponytail. Unexpectedly, the owner of the tea shop would like girls with ponytails. Hey, Matra, I don't have hair, so why do I get a ponytail? An alien pointed to his bald green head and smiled bitterly at his companion. You are hermaphrodite. The milk tea shop owner may not like you, so forget it. Matra exclaimed. Perhaps the boss likes an androgynous alien like me. The alien patted his chest. Chi Tian's ears are very sensitive, and after hearing this guy's words, his face turns black. Chi Tian really wanted to slap this stuff to death. Who would like someone like you so much? Roll me as far away as possible. Even if there are pretty girls with ponytails coming over today, they won't sell them anymore. They're all gone. Chi Tian waved to the customers who were still gathering around. Chapter 11. It's all gone. Champa also felt that the people nearby were getting in the way, and waved at them. Suddenly, a powerful invisible energy was released from Champa's hands. A gust of wind blew up at the scene. The crowd gathered around immediately dispersed. It didn't make sense to stay, and the milk tea was no longer for sale. It's much quieter now. Champa smiled triumphantly. Two cups of milk tea were quickly made by Chi Tian. Chi Tian handed the milk tea to Vados. Thank you. Vados thanked politely and asked, how much? It's free for you. Chi Tian smiled and handed another cup of milk tea to Champa. You have to add extra money, because there are only 1,000 shares a day, and today they are extra, so you need to pay the usual 10 double the price, isn't this too much? Champa's face turned black for an instant, and he almost squeezed the milk tea he took. What are you talking about? You asked me to pay ten times the usual price. Do you know who I am? Champa angered. Master Champa stay calm, and we don't need money. Vados persuaded quickly, for fear that Champa would really destroy Chi Tian in a rage, let's taste the taste of milk tea first. Champa sounds right, try this first if it tastes good or not, and then find this kid to settle the account. Champa took a sip. After drinking this sip, Champa's eyes lit up, and his face was filled with endless excitement and excitement. Vados also took a small sip in silence. Suddenly, Vados' eyebrows began to dance. At the same time, the face of Vados was flushed. It's so delicious. 
This is the first time I have had such a good drink. Vados rattled his mouth, sipping it down and felt unsatisfied. The entrance is dense and smooth, sweet and warm, fragrant and moist, giving people a feeling of reliance. Without the nobility and elegance of red wine, or the exquisite modernity of coffee, it has a warm and fragrant fragrance. Vados murmured, saying, it's not an exaggeration to be called the best in the world. I didn't expect such a delicious drink in this world. Extraordinary. I feel like I have lived in vain all these years. Champa exploded, tears almost falling. How could there be such a good drink in this world? The drinks I used to drink were urine. Immediately afterwards, Champa looked at Chi Tian's eyes again, and there was no bit of hostility. This is so special. Don't say this cup of milk tea is ten times the price. I just give you a galaxy, I don't think it is a loss. Is the taste okay? Chi Tian asked with a smile. Oh, it's delicious, Vados exclaimed. How did your kid come up with this peculiar drink? Champa also asked excitedly with his eyes glowing. Research and research casually, just like that. Chi Tian smiled. Can any research and research produce such an amazing drink? Champa really felt that this kid was awesome. Can you make anything other than milk tea? Vados couldn't help but asked. Somehow, but I only want to make milk tea now. I want to sell my milk tea to the entire universe. Chi Tian said with a smile. But your milk tea is already very popular throughout the universe. Vados smiled. I want to make my milk tea a household name. I believe there are many people who don't know the existence of milk tea. Chi Tian groaned with his chin. My biggest wish is to let everyone drink the milk tea I made. Quote. Vados. Champa, your kid only sells 1,000 copies a day. Do you know how big your universe is? How many people are there in your universe? Champa asked grimly. Our universe, how do you listen to your tone? You don't seem to be from our universe. Are there other universes besides our universe? Chi Tian looked at Champa thoughtfully. Boy, you are very smart. Champa smiled. Your universe is called the seventh universe, and the two of us came from the sixth universe. You just limit your milk tea to your universe, you his vision is a bit short-sighted. You should sell your milk tea to the whole universe. Dot but you have 1000 servings a day, let alone the whole universe, and even people on one planet are not enough to drink it. If it doesn't work in the future, open a chain store and sell milk tea in the whole universe. Chi Tian nodded slightly. I'll just say that your boy has short-sightedness. Champa shook his head and said to Chi Tian. How do you say? I plan to sell the milk tea to the whole universe, do you still say that I am short-sighted? Chi Tian asked back. Do you know who we are? Champa grinned. Chi Tian shook his head. Vados just took care of tasting the milk tea, and didn't have the meaning of reading Chi Tian's inner world at all. Boy, your luck is here, we are the greatest god of the sixth universe. Champa lowered his voice and whispered to Chi Tian. You are gods. Chi Tian showed a surprised expression. HMPH, can't you think of it? Champa was very satisfied with Chi Tian's expression, how is it? Are you interested in coming to our sixth universe to develop? Not interested, Chi Tian directly refused. Champa, boy, if it wasn't for your milk tea to make it delicious, your rejection of my attitude would be enough for me to ruin you. I am developing well on this planet. I am worried that I may not be able to adapt to a new environment. Chi Tian gave Champa a step by the way. Don't really mess with this stuff. With my current strength, even if I become Super Saiyan, I am not an opponent of this guy. Well, just accept it when you see it. Sure enough, after hearing Chi Tian's words, Champa's attitude also became more relaxed. I didn't expect that even the gods would come to taste my milk tea. Chi Tian smiled slightly, and then asked, By the way, what god are you? Tell you. I'm gods of destruction, gods of destruction Champa of the sixth universe, this is Vado's angel. Champa proudly gave an introduction. Sorry, please forgive me for my ignorance. I have never heard of the existence of two great gods. Chi Tian scratched his head, we also have gods of destruction and angel in the seventh universe, right? Of course, every universe has its own gods of destruction and angel. Champa nodded. I don't know if the angel of our universe is also a pretty girl with a ponytail. Chi Tian muttered. Champa, dare to love your kid for the pretty girl. Don't think about it, your universe angel is a man. Champa replied. What, are they male? I thought angel was all female. Chi Tian lost his voice. 
Boy, if it's because. Champa continued. Ahem, this Lord Gods of Destruction, you still call me Chi Tian, I am not a kid. Chi Tian interrupted. Champa stared. This Lord Gods of Destruction, you continue to say. Chi Tian said, I am listening. Chi Tian is a typical slap to give a sweet juju. Or in other words, walking cautiously on Champa's inverted scales. Chi Tian is sure that in this seventh universe, Champa may not dare to destroy me easily. Besides, if it destroys me, who will make milk tea for him? In less one day, this guy drank enough milk tea. Enough milk tea, there are new products. Boy, well, I call you Chi Tian. Champa continued, if it is because of environmental problems, I don't think these are a big deal. The sixth and seventh universes belong to the companion universe, you guys. There are ordinary planets here, as well as our sixth universe. With my ability, I can create the same environment for you. Actually, my greatest ideal is not to make milk tea. Chi Tian shook his head and sighed. Oh, do you have any other ideals? Say it, I might be able to help you realize it. Champa said, your blessing is not small, as the supreme god of the sixth universe, let you realize a small the wish is still easy to do. I want to be the best in the universe, can this Lord Gods of Destruction help me do it? Chi Tian asked. Champa, ha ha ha, you finally found the right person. Champa laughed after a brief silence. How do you say? Chi Tian asked, scratching his head. Gods of Destruction is the most powerful god in this universe. I can accept you as an apprentice. Champa said to Chi Tian, of course, the premise is that you can make milk tea for me every day. Well, let me consider it. Chi Tian hesitated with his chin. Champa got a toothache with anger. I want to accept an apprentice from Gods of Destruction, but this kid is still hesitating. That, I definitely don't mean to dislike you. In fact, I prefer to find a beautiful woman to be a teacher. Chi Tian said, silently looking at Vados who was drinking milk tea. Vados was also slightly taken aback. Is Angel strong or Gods of Destruction strong? Chi Tian asked. Ha, huh, of course Gods of Destruction is stronger. Champa pointed his thumb to his nose. Vados didn't speak, and just looked at Champa with a smile. Champa looked a little hairy, and his face changed again and again. Vados, don't look at me like that, okay. It's weird. Master Champa is what you say. Vados chuckled. On this human planet, Vados is not easy to move. If I beat Master Champa here, Master Champa would seem to be very embarrassed. Forget it, go back and settle accounts with him. You can also let Vados teach you. I just don't have any interest in leading apprentices. Champa weighed it carefully, but there was no objection. As long as you can follow me to my planet, I can let you make milk tea for me. Who taught you to be different? I can teach you Kung Fu, but I never accept apprentices. Vados looked at Chi Tian and said, You have a good foundation and excellent talent. If you practice well, it is not a big problem to reach the first level in the universe. I said the first in the universe refers to the first in the universe of human beings. If you want to surpass this Lord Gods of Destruction, I am afraid there is still a lot of difficulty. I am a member of the seventh universe after all. In case I perform too well, one day you suddenly want me to be your intern Gods of Destruction. Will Gods of Destruction on the seventh universe let me go? Chi Tian showed a worried expression on his face. Champa and Vados looked at each other. Immediately afterwards, Champa burst into laughter. Boy, you are so talented. I never thought about looking for an internship in Gods of Destruction. I have not yet become Gods of Destruction. Only when there is enough Gods of Destruction will you find a new Gods of Destruction. You can rest assured that this kind of thing is absolutely impossible. Champa smiled. Don't worry about it. Kid, even if you perform very well, the guy Beerus may not be able to see you. Beerus, is it the gods of destruction of our universe? Chi Tian thoughtfully. Not bad, Champa nodded. I mean if, if I really become the intern of the sixth universe gods of destruction, Lord Gods of Destruction Beerus won't bother me. Chi Tian asked again. Do you think it is the household registration system of some humans? As long as you live in the sixth universe for more than a year, you will become a human of the sixth universe. It has nothing to do with which universe you were born in. Champa said, even if you become the intern gods of destruction in the sixth universe one day, Beerus won't do anything to you. That's good, so I can rest assured. 
Chi Tian nodded. So, can you go back with us? Champa smiled. Hum, no problem. Chi Tian readily agreed. Oh, so there is fresh milk tea to drink every day. Vados clicked his lips, grinning. Who says it's not? This trip didn't come in vain. Champa also felt that the harvest was quite rich. Then, let's go back. Vados greeted. Boy, er, Chi Tian, come over and hold me, this gods of destruction will take you to fly. Champa beckoned to Chi Tian. I want to hold sister Vados. Chi Tian said, stepping forward and hugging Vados from behind very unceremoniously. Vados, it's up to you. Champa rolled his eyes. It just so happens that I don't want you to hold it either. You are a man holding me, it's so responsive. It's good if you hold Vados. Just when Vados and Champa were about to take off. Hey, are you the Saiyan Chi Tian? A voice rang from not far away. Chi Tian fixed his eyes and found that it was Dodoria who was talking. Let's go. The scepter in Vados's hand knocked on the ground. Call out. Vados turned into a bright flame like a diamond, and rushed to the sky with Chi Tian, and disappeared in a flash. Champa also turned into a bright flame, sank into the void, and soon disappeared. Dodoria froze. Who are they? This speed. There is almost no one. Where did Chu Yi die? Dodoria suddenly had a bad feeling, and asked his subordinates around him. Master Dodoria, Master Chu Yi seemed to be hit by that Saiyan all at once. That trace is. The little brother pointed to a trace in the distance. Dodoria flew quickly in the direction of the trace. Soon, Dodoria found Chu Yi's body a few kilometers away. Chu Yi died in a miserable old age. Dodoria could see that this product was shot in seconds. Seeing Chu Yi's death, Dodoria couldn't help shivering. Very scary. There must be weird. No, I have to report this to your excellency Frieza immediately. Also, that fat cat looks familiar. I always feel as if I have seen it somewhere. And the woman with blue skin and white hair. I also feel as if I have seen it somewhere. Dodoria immediately got in touch with Frieza. Dot dot dot. Frieza planet number 83. At this time Frieza has already returned to this planet. Your Excellency Frieza, Dodoria just called and said that there is an important report. Bela Blue said respectfully. Oh, what's the matter? Get the phone in. Frieza greeted. Your Excellency Frieza, Chu Yi is dead. Dodoria said immediately. Dodoria, is this the important thing you are talking about? It's nothing more than dying Chu Yi, although his combat effectiveness has exceeded 10,000. Frieza smiled slightly, feeling Dodoria a little fussed, and asked casually. By the way, how did he die? Was he beaten to death? Yes, according to reports from his staff, he was killed by the Saiyan of the Vanfied planet for a second. Dodoria responded immediately. Oh, Saiyan of Vanfied planet, Frieza was a little surprised. You said Saiyan is not the one who made milk tea, right? The milk tea he made has a unique flavor. Dodoria wanted to cry. Does milk tea make sense now? You mean, Chu Yi was killed by that guy? Frieza snorted. As far as I know, that guy's combat power is only 100. How did he do it? This, the subordinates just came to this planet and planned to settle accounts with him. Dodoria responded quickly. Oh, then, Frieza asked with a smile. Then, the subordinate saw two familiar and unfamiliar faces and took him away. Dodoria replied immediately. What is a familiar and unfamiliar face, talk to me. Frieza said sternly. The subordinate saw a fat cat and a woman with a scepter in her hand. The woman has a blue complexion and white hair. The fat cat is the image of a purple upright cat. It is obese, with a short tail and a neck. With a black background and white border cloth, he flies so fast, I can only see so much. Dodoria replied. What, Lord Beerus? Frieza was frightened. Beerus, Dodoria was also taken aback. Okay, I see, you don't need to worry about this. Frieza knew that he was gaff, and gave Dodoria an order, which was the interruption of the call. Dodoria looked dazed. I just saw Lord Frieza seem very scared through the video. Who is Beerus? How familiar does this name sound? How do I vaguely remember that such a cat appeared next to Lord Frieza? In addition to the cat, there is also a man with blue skin and white hair. At that time, I was far away and did not notice His Excellency Frieza's expression. That said, the guy named Beerus should be terrible. Even Lord Frieza was scared like that. 
And Lord Frieza just heard his name. Dot dot dot. Frieza Planet Number 83. Your Excellency Frieza, is it Mr. Beerus that Dodoria saw? Bailey Brew was also shocked. Cold sweat slipped on his face. As Frieza's personal nanny, Bailey Brew has naturally seen Beerus and Wiss. Isn't Mr. Beerus saying that he is going to take a nap? He said that I was responsible for destroying the planet, so I woke up so soon. Frieza was also slightly taken aback, feeling a little puzzled. Your Excellency Frieza, I feel that the situation is a bit wrong at the bottom. Bailey Bro said in deep thought. How do you say? Frieza asked. According to Dodoria's description, the Beerus Sama he saw was fatter, calling him a fat cat. Dot dot. But according to our understanding, if we see Beerus the first time we see him, it is impossible to call him a fat cat. Ah, Bailey Brew replied, moreover, the person next to Master Beerus, although he looks a little bit like a woman, is a man after all, so he is easily recognizable. No matter how stupid Dodoria is, it's impossible. You have such a big problem with your eyes. You mean yes, are people pretending to be Lord Beerus? Frieza understood. It's not impossible. Bela Blue nodded. So, where did this guy posing as Lord Beerus go? Frieza asked rhetorically. This, I'm suggesting, do you want to get in touch with Lord Beerus? Report this to Lord Beerus. Bailey Brow suggested. Balaburu, you are wrong. At this time, it is better to do more than less. You are by my side all day, don't you know the truth that a companion is like a tiger? Frieza snorted and looked at Balaburu. Said, those who dare to pretend to be Lord Beerus, no, the other party may not be a human, I am afraid it is also a god. Why should we go to trouble with God? Bailey Brew hurriedly bowed and saluted, feeling that what Frieza had said was too right. It's just Chu Yi who died, let him go. Frieza smiled lightly, ah, another Saiyan was taken away, so what? Dot dot dot, Planet Beerus. Wiss was holding the scepter in his hand, and was silently watching the crystal ball on the scepter and what happened on the planet Vanfoud in the crystal ball. Milk tea. Never drank this kind of drink. My sister is so cunning. You come to our universe to drink milk tea. You even brought the milk tea with the pot. Sister, you are too much. You somehow let me taste the milk tea first before talking about it. Master Beerus, wake up soon. Wiss greeted Beerus who was sleeping. Beerus didn't seem to hear it, and the snore became louder. Boom, Wiss knocked a scepter on Beerus's head. Suddenly, a big bag swelled on Beerus's head. Beerus still didn't mean to wake up. Wiss simply grabbed Beerus by the tail and threw him into the distant lake. It took about 20 minutes before Beerus soared into the sky from the lake. The prophetic fish was taken aback and hurriedly hid behind Wiss. Beerus, you guy wants to scare me to death. Who threw me into the lake? Beerus looked at Wiss with a black face. No one else can do this kind of thing except Wiss. Hey, Lord Beerus fell into it while he was sleepwalking. Wiss didn't admit it. Beerus, who are you lying to? You continue to edit. Yeah, prophetic fish. Wiss smiled and said to prophetic fish. The prediction fish nodded vigorously. Wiss, you and I belong together. Okay, I know you did it, don't deny it. Beerus asked angrily, didn't I tell you? Don't disturb me taking a nap. Master Beerus, I didn't want to disturb your sleep. But there is one important thing that I have to say. Wiss sighed. What's the matter? Beerus rubbed his eyes and yawned again. Quickly say, I'm very sleepy. I was awakened by you as soon as I entered deep sleep. During your sleep, Lord Champa and sister came to our universe. Wiss said. Why did that guy Champa come to our universe? Beerus frowned. It must feel okay. This matter, I have to start with the ordinary planet. Wiss said. Ordinary planet, isn't that our cafeteria? What happened to that planet? Beerus asked, you mean that Champa went to ordinary planet? Ha ha ha, he must think that our food is better than their sixth universe. Isn't it delicious? Just recently, a new type of drink called milk tea was born on the planet Vanfoud, and it quickly sold all over the world, and even the entire northern universe. Wiss smiled. What milk tea? Never heard of it. Beerus shook his head. In short, it's a drink made by mixing milk and tea, and adding sugar. Wiss explained. Can it be delicious? Beerus yawned. How can it sell well in the northern universe if it's not good? Wiss smiled. Wiss, what do you want to say? What about the milk tea? Did you bring it back? 
Whether it tastes good, we will know if we taste it. Beerus said angrily. Woke me up just because of a new drink. Wiss you are so shameless. I thought it was some kind of delicacy. It turned out to be just a drink. I don't want to drink it now, because Master Champa and my sister have brought back the milk tea maker to the sixth universe. Wiss sighed. What did you say? Beerus finally understood this time. Champa, you, you are too much. Yes, Lord Beerus, you heard it right. Wiss nodded. Let's go, let's go to the sixth universe right away. I'm going to find the guy Champa to settle the account myself. Beerus exclaimed angrily. Please wait a moment, Lord Beerus. Wiss thought for a while, then searched with the crystal ball on the scepter. What are you doing? Beerus asked puzzled, and couldn't help yawning again. This is so special, was awakened before being fully awake. I'm so sleepy. Before we go to find them, let's taste the milk tea if it tastes good or not. Wiss suggested, if it doesn't taste good, you don't have to go that far. That said, I haven't woken up yet. Beerus stretched. Found it. Wiss eyes lit up and smiled. Here is a cup of fresh milk tea. I just made it today. This person didn't want to drink it after buying it. I put it in the refrigerator. I guess I plan to enjoy it at night. Get here now, Beerus suggested. Oh, I'm afraid this person won't be blessed to enjoy it. Wiss grinned. Snapped. Above the scepter in Weiss's hand, Angel's power emerged. In the blink of an eye, the milk tea in the refrigerator disappeared. Ha! Huh. In the blink of an eye, such a cup of milk tea was transferred to the planet Beerus by Wiss. Wiss opened the lid and turned into three cups, and poured the milk tea evenly into the three cups. Wiss, Beerus, and Prophecy Fish have one drink per person. The three of them looked curiously at the milk tea inside the transparent quilt. Does this thing taste good? Beerus shook his head. It smells okay. Wiss picked up the water glass and took a sip. Suddenly, Wiss felt an inexplicable excitement and excitement. This silky feeling. Wiss lips started to dance. It's so delicious. The scent of milk and tea are mixed together. I didn't expect it to be like this. This is the best drink I have ever drunk. Wiss blinked his eyes, still thinking. Beerus also took a sip. Immediately afterwards, Beerus's eyes released light. As this milk tea, Beerus's tears were almost falling, and he was completely drowsy. This is the first time I had such a delicious drink. It's delicious, it's delicious. The prediction fish was also amazed. Snapped. Beerus directly snatched the milk tea from prophecy fish's hands. Hey, Beerus, what are you doing? The prophet fish exclaimed. You are a fish. Drinking milk tea is wasted. These are all mine. Beerus was not polite and drank the milk tea that predicted the fish directly. No drop is left. Excessive. The prediction fish wanted to cry. Snapped. After Beerus drank the two cups of milk tea in his hand, the destructive energy bloomed slightly. Suddenly, these two empty cups directly turned into slag, and they were completely destroyed. Champa, I stole my home. Not only that, but also took our pot away. Beerus gritted his teeth and said, I want to drink milk tea, and I want to keep the guy who makes milk tea. To our universe. Then, let's go, Master Beerus. Wiss agreed deeply. Call out. Wiss and Beerus turned into a bright flame, quickly sank into the sky, and whizzed in the direction of the sixth universe. On the road. No, didn't I tell Frieza that guy before I went to bed and asked him to help me look at the planet of the Vanfons? Beerus suddenly thought of something, resting his chin in thought. By the way, did Frieza have milk tea with that guy? Quote. Oh, let me see. Wiss took out the scepter and checked Frieza's movements through the crystal ball on the scepter. Soon, Wiss saw Frieza admiring the destruction of planet Vegeta while holding milk tea. Master Beerus, look, Wiss projected this image through the scepter. As this planet Vegeta, Saiyan's planet, Beerus nodded, I wanted to destroy this planet before I went to bed. Well, this is what Frieza did quite well. By the way, the owner of this milk tea shop seems to be Saiyan. Wiss added by the way. What are you talking about? Is the guy who invented the milk tea a Saiyan? Beerus's eyes widened. Yes, Wiss nodded. This is a bit troublesome. Don't tell me. I want to destroy planet Vegeta. Beerus urged. Okay, Wiss agreed. That said, this guy Frieza has already drunk milk tea, but he didn't tell me that there is such a delicious thing. Beerus snorted. Even if Frieza wants to tell Master Beerus about the milk tea, 
Master Beerus may not be able to wake up. Wis smiled. Tell me, it's my business that I didn't wake up, but he didn't tell me, that's his business. Beerus said coldly. Master Beerus, are we going to find Frieza? Or go directly to the sixth universe to track Master Champa? Wis asked. Don't worry about Champa. You must get inside before you get rid of the outside world. I still understand the truth. Beerus snorted. Let's go to the guy Frieza first and let him work hard. He seems to have just ruined planet Vegeta. That's it. Yes. Wis nodded. Actually destroying the planet, isn't it easy for Master Beerus? Wis, do you know how boring it is to repeat the same work every day? Beerus glared. Now even if I move my fingers, I don't bother to move. Wis, no one encountered such a lazy gods of destruction. You can destroy the planet with your fingers. You have to let the guy Frieza do it for you. Call out. The next moment, Wis and Beerus changed directions in the starry sky and flew quickly towards Frieza 83rd planet. Dot dot dot. Ten minutes later. Frieza planet number 83. Inside Frieza's palace. Frieza drove everyone out, then knelt in front of Beerus honestly. Master Beerus, you are awake. Frieza shivered. Frieza, I heard that the owner of the milk tea shop was taken away. Beerus asked with a dark face. Frieza, this, Lord Beerus, I also just received news that a fat cat was taken away. Frieza responded quickly and hurriedly responded. This is so special, I didn't want to be troubled, but Master Beerus actually came to the door. You call him Fat Cat? Beerus said with a cold face, do you know who he is? Frieza shook her head vigorously. He is my brother, Beerus said coldly. Frieza's smile gradually solidified, almost urinating in shock, and kowtow begging for mercy. I don't know he is your brother either. Forget it, this name is actually more suitable for him. Beerus snorted. Frieza breathed a sigh of relief. Your brothers are not in harmony. But you didn't tell me after drinking such a delicious milk tea. What is your intention? Beerus asked angrily. I want to tell Master Beerus, but before going to bed, Master Beerus said that if there is nothing particularly important, don't disturb your nap. Frieza was taken aback, and quickly explained. Wiss, did I say anything like this? Beerus turned to ask Wiss. Yes, Lord Beerus did say that. Wiss nodded, telling the truth. In that case, I will spare you this time. Next time I will find any novel food or drink, you must tell me as soon as possible. Do you understand? Beerus said, pointing his finger at Frieza's castle. Be lighter. Snapped. Suddenly, this magnificent castle of Frieza shattered like soap bubbles. Frieza was trembling with fright, and a cold sweat broke out on her body. Let's go, Wiss. Beerus greeted Wiss. Okay. Wiss nodded. Call out. The two quickly left Frieza 83rd planet. Seeing Beerus's departure, Frieza was also relieved. The little brothers on the planet Frieza were all stunned. What a powerful destructive power. Did Lord Frieza destroy the castle? Dot dot dot. Sixth universe. Champa planet. How is it? The environment of my planet is not bad, right? Champa smiled and said to Chi Tien. Well, the environment is beautiful. Chi Tien nodded then pondered, the question is, are there only three of us on such a big planet? Kid you know, this is the god realm, how can ordinary humans be qualified to come here? Champa snorted. Well, then I would like to thank Master Champa. Chi Tien smiled slightly. It's fine if you know it. Champa smiled triumphantly, and then said to Chi Tien, now you can make milk tea. Vados, you get all the basic materials for making milk tea. Wait a minute, Master Champa. Vados took out the scepter, and carefully looked at the crystal ball on the scepter. What's the matter? Champa asked. Master Beerus seems to have woken up and is coming fast toward us. Vados sighed. I expect to arrive on our planet in about 20 minutes. So you still haven't concealed it from him? Champa was a big head. Yes, things seem a bit troublesome. Vados groaned. Hurry up and think of a way, can't hide Chi and this kid. Champa proposed. It's useless, Wis can definitely find him. Vados shook his head. What to do? Champa was guilty of conscience and didn't know what to do for a while. There is no way. If Lord Beerus comes to ask for someone, we can't help but give it. Vados shook his head slightly. After all, Chi Tien will have to live in our universe for a year before he can become our sixth universe. 
If you want to drink milk tea in the future, you will have to fly for several hours to drink it. Champa gritted his teeth, unwilling to drink. I have a way, but the premise is that Chi Tian needs to agree. Vados turned to look at Chi Tian. Sister Vados, please say it, as long as I can do it, it is absolutely incumbent. Chi Tian patted his chest. The only way is to make Chi Tian the internship gods of destruction in our sixth universe, so that it can barely make sense. Vados groaned. Champa, the problem is, we ran to the seventh universe and brought a human back to work as an intern in Gods of Destruction. I'm afraid we will be teased by the guy Beerus in the future. Champa was a big head. I just said that I am willing to be the internship of the sixth universe Gods of Destruction, I took the initiative to propose it. Chi Tian interjected. Champa immediately turned to look at Chi Tian, and gave him a thumbs up. Boy, you are interesting. Champa nodded happily. That's not a big problem. Vados smiled slightly. I always feel that it's still not proper. Champa scratched his head. The guy Beerus will definitely ask, Chi Tian, why did you come to the sixth universe to practice gods of destruction? You are the seventh universe as an intern gods of destruction. Okay, how do you answer this question? It's very simple, because Lord Beerus destroyed my homeland, why should I be an intern in the seventh universe gods of destruction? Chi Tian smiled. What do you mean? Champa was stunned. In our universe, Frieza destroyed my homeland, planet Vegeta. According to the gossip, I heard that Frieza did this because he was ordered by gods of destruction. Chi Tian said, I didn't knowing who gods of destruction is can actually make the universe emperor follow his plan. Since I have known you, I have only known that such a god exists. Oh, there is such a thing. Champa was overjoyed. Wow, that's all right. Vados nodded. Ha ha ha, great, I can finally see Beerus eating turtles. Champa clapped his hands excitedly. Chi Tian smiled slightly. But boy, let me talk about it first. Unless your talent is good, the internship of Gods of Destruction can't just agree to you. Champa exhorted again. That, Sister Vados, can I be an intern angel? Chi Tian asked, I think it's angel more interesting. Champa, this kid is so hateful. You can't even look down on Gods of Destruction. Hey, if you want to become an intern angel, you must first master the perfect self-consciousness. It is very difficult for someone to do this simply. Vados smiled and said to Chi Tian. You teach me, I like to practice with my first love. Chi Tian said. Okay, Vados did not object. If you can stay, I can teach you how to be free, but I can say it first. Freedom is very difficult to understand. I will work hard. Chi Tian was overjoyed in his heart. Dot dot dot. After 20 minutes, Wiss and Beerus landed on the planet Champa. Beerus glared at Champa with a dark face. Ha, huh, Beerus, aren't you taking a nap? Why did you wake up so quickly? Champa fainted. Ha, huh, stop talking about useless nonsense. You know what I am here for. Beerus snorted, and turned his head and glanced at Chi Tian nearby. Is the milk tea made by this kid so delicious? I don't understand what you are talking about. Champa shook his head pretending to be dumb. You guy, our universe finally gave birth to a new drink, but you guys gave it to you. Beerus shouted angrily, do you know how excessive you are doing this? You want to drink milk tea, you drink whatever you want to our universe. But what do you mean by bringing our people back? Hee <laughs> hee, I thought it was something, it turned out to be for Chi Tian. Champa smiled. HMPH, you know it. Beerus snorted. Chi Tian is now the internship of our sixth universe, Gods of Destruction. Champa smiled slightly, so I'm sorry, Beerus, you were really not at the right time. The intern Gods of Destruction you were looking for has nothing to do with me, but you brought us from the seventh universe to be your intern Gods of Destruction, do you think it is appropriate? Beerus was so angry that his nostrils were full of white smoke. Chi Tian told me that his homeland, Planet Vegeta, suffered devastating damage. It is said that this matter was authorized by you. Do you think he is still suitable to stay in the seventh universe? Champa smiled and said, I think his the talent is not bad, so I brought him back as an internship gods of destruction. Beerus's face changed slightly. How did this kid know that I authorized Frieza to destroy planet Vegeta? No, how could he as a human know this kind of thing? It must have been detected by Vados. Shameless. And the Frieza, can't you do things more secretly? Frieza, 
You wait for me, and I will teach you a good lesson later. Wis, you said something. Beerus said to Wis. Oh, what Chi Tian doesn't know is that planet Vegeta is already on the list of being destroyed. The planet of this universe will be destroyed when it is born. The universe needs to be balanced. Once it loses its balance, the entire universe will be destroyed. Wis said to Chi Tian, so, Lord Beerus destroys the planet without any emotion, and he will not destroy the planet because of someone. So, it seems that I have saved the abdomen of a gentleman with the heart of a villain. Chi Tian held his chin in thought. Champa, what do you mean, kid? How do I feel that you are a little shaken? Boy, you are very witty. Beerus nodded in satisfaction. The owner of this milk tea shop can still teach a child. I thought he was stubborn. That's good, this is good. I'm so embarrassed. Chi Tian held his head, showing a look of helplessness, but I have promised to be an intern in the sixth universe gods of destruction, does it seem appropriate to return to the seventh universe? Beerus's face went dark. After all, you still don't want to come back, do you? What if you don't come back with my milk tea? But after all, I am a member of the seventh universe. It's a bit unreasonable if I don't go back. Chi Tian scratched his head, however, being an internship gods of destruction is also one of my wishes. Ha, back to the seventh universe, I will let you be my intern gods of destruction. Beerus agreed. This. Dot but. Chi Tian was embarrassed for a while, but I have promised Master Champa. It's useless if you promise, you are the seventh universe after all. Beerus shouted. Beerus, you are enough. Champa shouted. Chi Tian has promised me to be my intern gods of destruction, are you unkind? Which one of us is not kind? You steal people from my universe, you are kind. Beerus angered. I met Chi Tian first. Champa explained. Whether you know you first or I know you first, he is the person in my seventh universe after all. Beerus angered. The more they quarreled, the more fierce they were, and they both started rolling up their sleeves and preparing to fight. Bang! Bang! Wiss and Vados shot in time, each of them smashed their heads one by one. Suddenly, two big bags swelled up on the heads of Champa and Beerus. You two are not allowed to fight. If you really fight, the entire universe may be harmed by you. Vados exclaimed. Yes, the last time you two had a fight almost destroyed the universe. Wiss also persuaded. Then what do you say? Beerus said angrily. If it doesn't work, I will make a cup of milk tea for Master Beerus every day, and then send it over. Chi Tian asked cautiously. HMPH, things have progressed to this level, do you think it can be solved with a cup of milk tea? Beerus said with a black face, moreover, even if I make milk tea, I have to drink fresh. Then I will go to the scene to produce, is this always okay? Chi Tian proposed. I said, this matter is beyond the scope of the milk tea itself. Beerus snorted. But after hearing Chi Tian say this, the little bit of hatred towards Chi Tian also disappeared all at once. Beerus, we can't compete. Champa suggested. Compared to what? What are you comparing to me? Do you think you can beat me? Beerus hummed. The two of us don't fight. If the two of us really fight, this universe might be unbearable. Champa smiled. We might as well pick three humans from our respective universes and let them fight. What do you think? Sample. Oh. Beerus turned to look at Wiss. Wiss nodded slightly. Okay, then it is set in three days. The three humans in our respective universes will fight each other. The universe that wins in the end will determine whose internship this kid is gods of destruction. Beerus hummed. A word as a deal. Champa nodded. It's up to us to arrange the venue. Vados proposed. Good sister. Wiss didn't object. Let's go. Beerus greeted. So, Master Champa, Sister, Chi Tian, goodbye. Wiss waved. Call out. Immediately, Wiss and Beerus turned into a bright flame, rushed to the sky quickly, and disappeared in a flash. After the two left, Champa was happy to laugh. Master Champa, what are you laughing at? Vados asked. Ha ha ha, the seventh universe doesn't have any powerful human players at all. Our universe can definitely beat them. Champa said with a smile. That's also. At present, in the human beings in the seventh universe, there really doesn't seem to be any powerful people. Vados nodded slightly. So we will win this game. Champa laughed. Master Champa who is going to let him participate in the competition? Vados asked. 
Hit that is indispensable. Champa murmured, as the number one killer of our universe, I think I can directly beat the three people in their seventh universe. Master Champa, don't be too happy. There may be hidden masters in the seventh universe. Vado sighed slightly. After all, it is not our own universe, so I don't want to explore too deeply. Don't worry. Champa smiled. In addition to Hit, let Potomo and Frost play. They have no big problems. In fact, there is no need for Hit to play. It is just Frost. Frost can overturn the seventh universe. Vados didn't say a word. Chi Tian did not speak either. Just say it, I just listen. As far as the strength of that guy Frost is, I am afraid it is not Frieza's opponent. It's really incredible, you actually held a contest for milk tea in advance. Well, my milk tea is indeed delicious. It seems that the seventh universe of this game might be cold. As Champa said, one hit is enough to flip the seventh universe. Today's seventh universe, there is really no one who can beat it. Except me, low profile. I will continue to compress my combat effectiveness. During this period of time, Chi Tian was not idle either. In the spare time of making milk tea, he was still constantly compressing his own combat power. I believe that soon, Chi Tian's combat effectiveness will reach the sixth power of 100. What is the sixth power of 100? 1 trillion. Hum, this number is getting bigger and bigger. I don't even know how to forget it. Compared with Hit's combat power of 1 trillion, there is still a big gap. Hit's level is estimated to be not much different from the Gold Frieza. What is the fighting power of Golden Frieza? Anyway, it is much larger than 1 trillion. I'm afraid it takes 100 to the 8th power to reach the fighting power of the Golden Frieza. In other words, as long as I practice to the 10th power of 100, I can sling Chowlin and Hit. Of course, these are just Chi Tian's speculations. Whether this is the case is still unknown. Besides, Chi Tian compressed things like combat power. Compressed combat power can also refer to energy, which is more refined and more powerful. Should I find a chance to learn from Hit? Well, wait until I raise the combat power to the sixth power of 100. It's not impossible to learn from each other. Then, I will bring Hit and them now. Champa said. Okay. Vados nodded slightly. I'm not going. I also stay. Chi Tian said. Boy, I don't object to you making milk tea for Vados, but you remember to save me a cup. Champa said. Don't worry, I can do it after Master Champa comes back, don't you want to drink fresh? Chi Tian smiled slightly. That's what I said. Champa nodded in satisfaction, and there was no unnecessary nonsense immediately, soaring into the sky and leaving his planet. Suddenly, on the huge planet Champa, only Chi Tian and Vados were left. Vados, can you help me point out my deficiencies in cultivation? Chi Tian asked. Okay, no problem. Vados readily agreed. In the process of my cultivation, I found a problem. Chi Tian said, there was an extra mass of energy in his hand, and explained to Vados, it's like this mass of energy, I pinch it hard. Vados, what do you think will change? Vados, how do I feel that your squeeze energy technique? It means something. Ha, huh, the energy is compressed. Vados deserves to be angel, and soon discovered the changes, and it has become more refined and more powerful. I am constantly practicing through this method, constantly compressing combat effectiveness, and improving my own strength, do you think it is feasible? Chi Tian asked humbly. Just ask if you don't understand, there is nothing to be ashamed of. This Vados is a true god. Ahem, I'm not telling you. I've seen this kind of cultivation method for the first time. I don't know the specifics. Vados pondered, but one thing is certain. If you keep compressing it, maybe one day your body will not be able to withstand such a large amount of compression energy, and it will cause a serious load on your body. I have thought about the problem you mentioned, but for now, my body can still bear it. Chi Tian nodded lightly, and then guessed, if you said that if I continue to compress my combat power, will it be these combat powers are compressed into supernatural powers? Vados, you really dare to think about it? Is divine power born like this? No, Vados directly replied, divine power is divine power. It is a special energy born through the cultivation of God's skills. It is like the divine power of Lord Champa and Lord Beerus, which is completely different from that of me and Wis. Even the supernatural power of Supreme Kai you will see in the future is different from ours. Understood. 
Chi Tian nodded. Vedos was stunned. What do you understand? Since even you can't see the problems in my cultivation, then I will continue to practice in my own way, maybe really compress the energy into divine power. Chi Tian said. Vedos didn't want to talk anymore. Do you get it? I dare to say it for a long time and it's all for nothing. You still have to practice in your own way. When the time comes, your body cannot bear it, but you can bear it. But it doesn't matter. After you die, I will resurrect you, and everything will start again. I just want to drink milk tea. Your strength has nothing to do with me. Sister Vedos, can you teach me how to feel free now? Chi Tian asked. Oh, you are really impatient. Vedos sighed. Okay, then I'll just tell you a little bit about freedom, you first have a general understanding. Hum. Chi Tian nodded vigorously. Jizai is different from your current way of fighting by perceiving Chi. It relies on various parts of the body to perform conditioned reflex movements, without brain thinking, and maximizes the speed of movement and the ability to react. Vedos simply explained. In other words, the body and consciousness are separated, allowing each part of oneself to transcend instinct to perceive the dangers around them, and it is no longer necessary for the brain to think first and then act. Can you understand what I said? Understand. Chi Tian nodded. With that, Chi Tian drew a circle near him and Vedos. Immediately afterwards, Chi Tian took out a black cloth strip and tied it to his eyes. Vedos. Ahem, what are you doing? Vedos asked curiously. Since you said that Zizi does not need to think through the brain, then I blindfolded my eyes so that my eyes cannot see, so the brain will not think or judge your actions. Chi Tian muttered. Yes. It makes sense for you to say that. Vedos nodded and looked at the circles on the ground. Next, I will try to catch Sister Vedos. Without using my brain, I will use my own body to catch. Chi Tian said. Vedos. Vedos clutched his forehead, not knowing what to say for a while. You are so talented, but let alone using it, this method of cultivation can be regarded as a free and extreme entry. Of course, whether or not you can truly cultivate to become the ultimate self-consciousness depends mainly on whether you are suitable for this skill. I'm about to start, Sister Vedos. Chi Tian grinned, revealing a mouthful of white teeth. Vedos, how do I feel like you are catching your wife? You have no posture for cultivation at all. Cultivate with me for an hour, and I will make my sister a drink that is better than milk tea. Chi Tian said with a smile. Oh, really? Would you make any other drinks? Vedos was taken aback. What kind of drink does my elder sister usually like to drink? Chi Tian asked. I only drink water. Vedos said, or not. Is my sister ever drinking coffee? Chi Tian asked. It's not good, it's too bitter. Vedos shook his head. Did you not add sugar? Chi Tian asked. Do you want to add sugar to coffee? Vedos was stunned. Chi Tian, have you added milk? Chi Tian asked again. What milk? Vedos was taken aback again. Chi Tian didn't want to talk anymore. Sixth, the level of civilization of universe, is it really that bad? Not right, the technology level of the sixth universe definitely surpasses the earth where one's previous life was located. Okay, maybe it's just that the diet level of the sixth universe is not good, right? Accompany me to practice for an hour, I will make a cup of coffee for my sister, let my sister taste and taste, what is real coffee? Chi Tian said. Vedos looked thoughtfully at Chi Tian. Do I really need to add milk and sugar to drink coffee? Haven't tried it. We sounded like it tasted good. Elder sister Vedos, it's about to start, let me catch it. Chi Tian grinned, revealing a mouthful of white teeth again. You are wrong, you should say never to be caught by me. Vedos said. No. There is no sense of accomplishment if you don't catch my sister. Chi Tian said, rushing towards Vedos quickly. How could Vedos let Chi Tian catch it? Vedos flashed slightly and avoided Chi Tian's arms. Chi Tian raised the speed to the extreme. Don't go out of the circle. Chi Tian said. No, don't worry. Vedos nodded slightly. The two chased in a circle that was only five or six meters in diameter. Dot dot dot. Seventh universe. The vast starry sky. Wiss and Beerus are moving fast. Hey, Wiss, is there a suitable candidate for our universe besides Frieza? Beerus asked. Fortunately, Frieza was not destroyed in a rage before. Frieza and his father Kurd, 
and his brother Cooler, the three of them are pretty good. Wiss replied. Let these three members of Frieza's family play. Beerus murmured, I remember that there is a guy named Hit in the sixth universe, who is known as the number one killer of the sixth universe. Can Frieza and the others be his opponents? It's difficult. Wiss shook his head. We must find someone with a level similar to Hit, otherwise we will definitely lose. Beerus gritted his teeth. Okay, I'll look for it again. Wiss nodded, flying while holding the scepter, looking for the right player through the crystal ball on the scepter. Ten minutes passed. Wiss, how did you find it? Beerus asked. Find one, Vegeta has a brother named Reg, but he is a good player, and his current strength has far surpassed Frieza. Wiss said, however, Reg is still in the growing period, I think it may not be hit. Opponent. Keep looking, you must find a player who can surpass hit. Beerus barked his teeth. Another ten minutes passed. Master Beerus, this person may be able to try it. Wiss said, a projection appeared on the scepter. The picture in the projection is a mountainous area, and there is an egg on the mountain ridge. What is this? Is it sealed? Beerus asked. Yes, this is the seal of Majin Buu. It has now been sealed in this egg, and the seal is currently on a planet called Earth. Wiss explained. Earth, I remember that the dinosaurs on that planet were very unfriendly. I even wiped out the dinosaurs there. Beerus nodded. Many years have passed since the dinosaurs went extinct, and now humans have been born on Earth. Wiss replied. You can talk briefly about this Majin Buu, how is his level? Can he beat Hit? Beerus is not interested in the birth of human beings on Earth. Majin Buu's strength is not low. At that time, five Supreme Kai challenged him. As a result, four Supreme Kai were absorbed by him, even the big Supreme Kai. Wiss replied. Hum, I was right to seal the old Supreme Kai guy. Beerus grinned, otherwise, these Supreme Kais are all dead, and I will disappear. Master Beerus is really planning ahead. Wiss smiled. So the strength of this Majin Buu shouldn't be a big problem, right? Beerus asked. There is no comparison, there should be a chance of winning. I really can't beat Hit. It's okay to absorb Hit. Wiss smiled. Are there other suitable candidates? Beerus asked again. There is still a suitable candidate, but this person is in the galactic prison. Wiss muttered, unfortunately, this person has lived for 10 million years, and his vitality is almost reaching the end. If it is at its peak, deal with it. Hit absolutely has no problems. Galactic prison, is the galactic patrol over there? Beerus asked, I remember that you had a younger brother who experienced it on the galactic patrol. Let your brother play the game. You can definitely hang everyone in the sixth universe easily. Wiss, you let Myers participate in the game. Does Myers still have to hang all of them? The problem is, it doesn't matter if Myers is on the court without Vados. With a little disguise, Champa may not be able to recognize him. However, with my sister, Meyer's identity will still be recognized at a glance. Just kidding, kidding. Beerus smiled. Don't make any meaningless jokes. Wiss said with a black face. Who do you think is the man who has lived for 10 million years? Beerus asked. His name is Moluo. Before 10 million years ago, Supreme Kai Master had consumed 70% of his divine power in order to seal him up. Later, he met Majin Buu. Because his divine power was not restored to his peak state, he was defeated by Majin Buu. Wiss explained. There is such a thing. Beerus nodded slightly. You mean that this person's life is about to end, right? You can live up to 100 years. Wiss nodded slightly. I'm afraid that with his strength, dealing with it is still very troublesome. Beerus shook his head, forget it, I really can't let that Majin Buu go. Okay, Wiss didn't object. Master Beerus, shall we go directly to Earth now? Go, Beerus replied. But again, Lord Beerus, is it appropriate for us to do this for a cup of milk tea? Wiss sighed. Hey, Wiss, this is not a problem with a cup of milk tea. Beerus hummed, when things have progressed to this point, the kid named Chi Tian doesn't matter anymore. What matters is my face. I don't care about this game. I can't lose to that champa. This is related to the reputation of our universe. If Beerus Sama is as diligent about his usual work as he treats this game. Maybe the development of our universe will be better. Wiss sighed. Don't mention work to me. I get a headache when it comes to work. I'm a good person. I don't like to do sabotage. 
Beerus hummed. Whis, you can blow, I can't keep up with your rhythm. Call out. The two of them moved fast in the direction of the earth. Dot dot dot. The seventh universe, the supreme Kai world. Jebet, the happiest thing I do every day is to look up at the starry sky and overlook the entire universe. Supreme Kai Shin smiled and said to Jebet. Ha ha ha, Master Supreme Kai is so comfortable. Jebite smiled. As the greatest god in this universe, sometimes it feels boring. Supreme Kai sighed, God standing on the peak of the universe, loneliness and loneliness are inevitable things. Yes, Lord Supreme Kai. Jebby nodded his head. Let's not talk about it yet. Supreme Kai waved his hand. How is Majin Buu's seal now? No problem, right? Don't worry, Lord Supreme Kai, there will never be a problem. Jibit smiled. We have been investigating the situation of the Earth in the past two years. From that location, it is difficult to pass the level of the Earth's people. It will not cause any irritation to Majin Buu's seal. Well, as the greatest god in this universe, the only thing I worry about right now is Majin Buu. Supreme Kai put his hands on his back and nodded gently, as long as Majin Buu doesn't have any problems. Since Supreme Kai is more worried, let's take a look. Jibite smiled. Well, just take a look. Supreme Kai nodded. The two looked at the direction of the earth together. Then, the two of them saw Wis and Beerus appearing near the Majin Buu seal in the next moment. The faces of Supreme Kai and Jabbit changed color. Who are these two guys? Why did they find Majin Buu's seal? What are they two doing? Are they going to release Majin Buu? Supreme Kai and Jabite looked at each other. Quick, Jabet, we will stop them immediately. Supreme Kai was anxious. Yes, Lord Supreme Kai. Jabite nodded vigorously. Supreme Kai pulls Jebet to display instant transmission. The two of them only appeared in the vicinity of Wiss and Beerus in a flash, and immediately stepped forward to block the seal. Who are you? What are you doing here? Supreme Kai snapped. Oh, isn't this Lord Supreme Kai? Wiss greeted with a smile. Supreme Kai and Jibit were both taken aback. This blue-skinned guy actually knew me. Wiss, how do you see this guy's expression? It seems that he doesn't recognize us. Beerus silently looked at Supreme Kai, then turned to Wiss. Yes, Lord Supreme Kai really doesn't seem to know us. Wiss nodded slightly. It should be that Lord Supreme Kai died earlier. The inheritance in the middle is broken. Lord Supreme Kai doesn't know our existence. Beerus, is there such a silly Supreme Kai? Beerus sighed. Wiss clutched his forehead and smirked. Is this the Majin Buu seal you mentioned? As long as the seal is stimulated by the situation, this guy will run out, right? Beerus groaned. As for Supreme Kai, Beerus didn't bother to talk to him. As long as you don't commit suicide, do whatever else you want. But don't hinder me from doing things. Yes, Wiss nodded. Good, Beerus stepped forward. Stop, who are you? Supreme Kai stretched out his arms to block Beerus's path, and shouted sharply. Supreme Kai, do your own business, don't be nosy. Beerus said lightly. I'll just ask you, who are you? Answer my question. Supreme Kai shouted again. Jebet is also gearing up, ready to fight. Beerus grabbed Supreme Kai's arm and threw it away. Call out. Supreme Kai draws an arc in the air like a sandbag. Boom. Supreme Kai slammed heavily on the distant mountain, raising a large cloud of dust. Jebet was shocked. Who is this guy? Is Supreme Kai vulnerable in front of him? Jebet gritted his teeth. He couldn't take care of that much anymore, and he raised his divine power to the extreme. Jebet swiftly attacked, hitting Beerus with a punch. Snapped. Beerus stretched out a finger and easily blocked Jabet's attack. What? Just blocked my full blow with a finger. Jebet was dumbfounded. Get out of me. Beerus slapped Jebet to the ground with a slap. Far away. Supreme Kai came quickly. Immediately afterwards, Supreme Kai stared at Beerus, and a powerful divine power quickly attached to Beerus. Supreme Kai, are you an idiot? Beerus snorted. You really don't know who I am. No matter who you are, I won't allow you to release Majin Buu. Supreme Kai shouted angrily, Do you know how terrifying this guy is? Even if you are powerful, you are vulnerable to this guy, he will immediately destroy the planet and do evil in the entire universe. I tell you, no one is his opponent. Isolate guy. Beerus shook his head. As far as fighting is concerned, no one is my opponent. Supreme Kai, who is this cat? What a big talk. 
No one is your opponent yet. You really put Majin Buu out to try. Beware that you die miserably. Okay, this guy is useful to me. After I use it up, I'll seal him up again. Beerus groaned, for the sake of your persistence, it feels a bit unreasonable if you don't seal it. You. Dot you stupid wild cat. Supreme Kai said angrily. Snapped. Beerus slapped Majin Buu's seal lightly. You. Supreme Kai appeared angry, gritted his teeth at Beerus, wishing to go up and go desperately. Your slap is very hard. I saw Majin Buu's seal trembling violently. It's over, it's over. It was really hopeless this time. Majin Buu will definitely come out of the seal. Shoo. Sure enough, the next moment Supreme Kai saw pink smoke rising from the seal. The pink smoke quickly gathered together and was condensing and deforming. You will regret it, Supreme Kai said angrily. Wiss looked calmly at the pink clouds gathered in the sky. Beerus also raised his head silently, looking at Majin Buu gradually taking shape. Quickly let me see how your strength is. If you can't beat hit, should I destroy you? Beerus is thinking about this issue now. Snapped. Soon, Majin Buu gathered and formed and became a pink fat man. Supreme Kai is like a bereaved concubine, his face is like a piece of white paper. That's it. This universe is going to be over. Clatter. Majin Buu descended from the sky and landed on the ground, looking left and right. Hey, Wiss, this guy. Beerus was speechless after seeing Majin Buu's image. You said he can beat hit. Why don't I believe it? The problem is, your image looks too comedy. Yes, that's right. Wiss nodded slightly, and an image was immediately projected from the crystal ball on the scepter in his hand. Buu in the image is a short man with a thin body, completely different from his current appearance. Master Beerus, this is the original image of Buu. After he absorbed the Southern Supreme Kai, he became taller, and it didn't take long for him to absorb the Supreme Kai again, so he became what he is now. Wiss a brief explanation was made. So it's like that, Beerus understood. You, who are you? Supreme Kai is still struggling with the identities of the two. Especially after seeing the image projected by Wiss, Supreme Kai was even more shocked. How did this guy get the image of that year? I feel like he is at the scene. Are you doing a live broadcast? Hey, Majin Buu, go to a game with me. If you perform well, I will release you completely. Beerus directly ordered to Buu, if you lose to the opponent, then I will continue to play you seal it up, can you understand what I'm saying? Buu immediately looked at Beerus. Immediately afterwards, Buu laughed. No, it should be a smirk to be precise. Wiss, isn't this guy a fool? Beerus wiped his sweat. Buu understood, and showed a fierce look at Beerus. It's not too stupid, it's just lack of training. Beerus breathed a sigh of relief. Ha ha ha, Boo waved his fist at Beerus, eager to try. Boom, Beerus slapped Boo again. Suddenly, Majin Boo became flat. The eyes of Supreme Kai on the side almost jumped out of their sockets. The paws of this cat are too scary. That's Majin Boo. Was he patted into meatloaf with just one paw? Snapped. In the next moment, Majin Boo was like a spring, immediately returning to its original shape. Oh, although the strength is not very good, but the body structure is quite special, maybe it can beat the guy hit. Beerus was a little surprised. This guy can actually regenerate. It seems that our universe has hope. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.